Greetings, fellow detectives. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. We're up to the 22nd mystery in the Nancy Drew series. Nancy Drew Trail of the Twister. Just setting up my chat here. Welcome, welcome. Beautiful. Hi, Chloe. Welcome. Hey, Jessica. Welcome to the stream. How are you two doing today? Alrighty. So, let's go ahead and pop into the game. Hi, my history girl. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Hello, JK lady. Welcome to the stream. How are you? All right. So, we are at Nancy's classic desk, which we love. Oh, you're tired, Jessica. I'm sorry. Good thing it's Friday, right? Okay, we have, how's the audio? I had to switch headphones. You got stuff to do, but don't want to do it. I know that feeling. I'm doing pretty well, Chloe. Thanks for asking. I'm glad you're good. I don't want to be responsible. That is a mood. I totally get that. Finally, I caught a stream on time. Hi, Julie. Welcome. So glad you could make it. I know your mom. Hi, Garrett. All right. So good old trail of the twister. We got our scrapbook here from previous games, which is super cool. We love that. Hi, Marie Marie. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. My week has been pretty good. It's been kind of a busy week because we're wrapping things up for the school year. We only have, I think, now that today is done, only four more school days left, which is crazy. So it was busy, but good. It's nice to be wrapping things up. We have our Carnivale mask from the Phantom of Venice. We have our ship from Ransom of the Seven Ships. We have the lovely mug from Waverly Academy. This light, which I just love. For some reason. <laughs> you're like the nicest streamer I know of. Oh, you're so sweet, JK lady. Glad to hear you're doing well. Thank you. I'm so glad to hear you're doing well, too. All right, we got our lovely case file. Um, if the audio is ever like too loud for the game or if I'm too loud or too quiet, can you guys let me know just because I had to switch headphones so I'm not sure how it's all sounding. PG Krollmeister has hired me to investigate a series of equipment meltdowns that have been plaguing the prominent Oklahoma Storm Research team he sponsors. Since his team has been expected to win the $100 million grant at stake in the upcoming Green Sky Storm competition, Krollmeister suspects that there is something far more sinister than simple equipment failure going on. I'll be joining the team undercover, replacing their previous intern, Pete, who wound up with a broken leg after one of the accidents stranded him directly in the path of a storm. Stepping in at the most dangerous and chaotic period of the chase season, I'm going to have to keep my wits about me to stay on top of the sabotage and the storms. Chloe, it would be so cool if we could get Nancy's scrapbook. That would be amazing. All right, so Nancy's going undercover for this gentleman. I mean, gentleman might not be the best word for Scott Varnell, but <laughs> this man. And uh, attempting, or as part of his team at least, she's going undercover for Krollmeister. So we actually talked to Krollmeister in this mystery for the first time ever in the series. All righty. This game kind of sucks. <laughs> I I agree. <laughs> it's in my bottom five. It's, in my opinion, the fifth lowest Nancy Drew game on my list. Whoa! 
Oh my gosh! This is a pretty epic start to a mystery, though. Oh, thank you, Raymarie. You're so sweet. Alright, so... Big old tornado happening, apparently. Lots of rain. I mean, can Nancy wander around outside, even though a tornado just went past? It's probably not the smartest thing to do, but... I mean, Nancy doesn't always make the smartest choices anyway, so, you know. <laughs> I like to crash the car on purpose in this game. Me too, Jessica. It kind of just ends up happening. We get to collect money in this one. Hooray! Okay, this looks like the Healy Healy sign. Which is interesting. Anything else interesting around here? What else can we look at? I've never gone in here first. So we can actually look at some of the stuff that Chase has left behind. I'm gonna shake things up. I'm gonna look at things in a different order. Ooh, thunder and lightning. Modern day land rush. See, I don't understand what the point of this um, article is. It's literally just about students who are basically like down with consumerism and up with the bison mascot statue. But it has literally nothing to do with the mystery. <laughs> I guess it's just for fun. Or sharing about Canute College or something. This was a really easy game for me. That's actually impressive, Chloe. Because some of these puzzles are rough. Like the gear puzzle? Oh my goodness. Trail of the Twister is kind of boring. Characters are lackluster. The design's kind of bleh. Knows how to make Nancy Drew game better though. <laughs> well, it's super fun to like play it with friends. With all of you guys. That makes it definitely much better. The sweetest all-time favorite streamer. You guys are so nice. Hello, Golden Moon. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? What else do we got over here? I guess we can't look at too much of this until we meet Chase for the first time. I love the flashes of lightning. That's always very cool. And I love when there's different weather in the games. Makes it feel a lot more realistic. Move all this trash out of the way. It's a weird piece of debris. A weird piece wow. of debris. It's filled with money. <laughs> okay. Once again, amazing job. Thanks. Payment enclosed. I better take this and see who it belongs to. That's sketchy. Maybe it's for set dressing to make it look like she's in Oklahoma. Yeah, right. <laughs> Trying to find as many ways as possible to make it Oklahoma themed. Hi, Casey. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Never been into stream, but Nancy Drew streams? Yes, please. <laughs> yes. Carousel was easy, but I actually found it really hard. Oh, interesting. I suppose different kinds of puzzles are tricky and different styles for sure. Hello, Nancy. Sorry we missed you. We're out chasing. The wind shear readings are strong enough that there may be a possible tornado forming to the north. Until our return, I'd like you to familiarize yourself a bit with our operation. Please take the tornado quiz on the computer in the cellar. Don't worry. We don't care how you score. Also, there's a stack of papers in the dining room that needs to be filed away in the cabinet. You'll have to use my ordering system, but I've left notes for you on how it works. You couldn't just tell me where they're supposed to go. <laughs> and you'll want to drive down the street to Mon Pa's general store to meet Pa. There's a GPS in the car. You'll like him. He's quite the character. Thanks for filling in last notice. I look forward to meeting you in person, Debbie. All right. So Debbie has given us a list of chores. Classic. <laughs> find all of them hard i'm big dumb <laughs> they're hard games jessica they really are frankenstein by mary shelley which has to be an indication of um the captive curse coming up and the monster broken tv yep tv is ooh. haha -ha! worldwide broadcasting studios stay tuned for danger cookie there's actually a lot of cookies with this tv next week on season finale of Heights General, will Dr. Merrin finally ask no River Heights? Previously on Are You a Detective? Andrew Morris, you are... I can never get a good enough look at that one to know where that's from. I think it might have been Treasure in the Royal Previously Tower. Previously on Detective Beach. Detective Beach, Secrets Can Kill. That's Light of Our Love. Previously on Are You a Detective? See, is Andrew that... Morris? 
I can't tell. That might have been Wickford Castle. <laughs> Big boo, Jessica. <laughs> Did you know that there really is a Canute, Oklahoma? It's a really small town and way too small to have its own college. Oh, that's so funny. Oh. Oh, the curtains. They move in the wind. I like that. Maybe we should close that window. That might be kind of smart. That door is locked. Because they don't want Nancy to snoop. They want Nancy to take a quiz. Ugh. <laughs> Hi, Juan Pena. Welcome. My brain doesn't function. I feel that. Those days are frustrating. Okay, so let's take our twister quiz. The weather service will issue what type of alert when a tornado has been spotted? A warning. There's a watch when they think it's going to happen, and a warning when they've actually seen one. How many tornadoes are recorded on average each year in the United States? I always forget this. Uh, eh, 1,500? Nope. 800? Nope, 1,000? Okay, 1,000. <laughs> Tornadoes are measured using what system? F scale? Yeah. Dr. Fujita. Hello, Glaze Donut. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Your hometown is super small and you have a college? Ooh, impressive. Never finished this game. It was weirdly difficult for me. It's an easy one to get stuck on at times, that's for sure. What's the point of this quiz if the score doesn't matter? Knowledge? Question mark, I guess? The least safe place to seek shelter in a public place, such as a theater or a mall during a tornado, is... a large room. Because the ceiling can collapse on you. In preparation for an emergency, every family should have a tornado plan in place and this item, a disaster kit. Which of the following is not indicative of a possible tornado? Not indicative. Um, isn't it this? No, downburst. Yeah. On average, what percentage of tornadoes each year rank as either an EF4 or EF5? Only 1%. Most of them are little. What causes the most injuries during a tornado? Flying debris. Hate writing things down when I play walkthroughs for my detective buddies. Love that. Congratulations, you initially answered six out of eight correctly. 75%. Nice. And then we can go back and look at it. How many of you have actually seen a tornado in real life? Just out of curiosity. Hi, Forever Insane! Glad you could join for even just a couple of minutes. It's so nice to see you. I just hated it, lol. <laughs> I feel that. Have fun with your meeting. <laughs> if you can. I'm so glad I don't live where there are a lot of tornadoes either, Ray Marie. Like, our worst weather type is, I guess we can have floods sometimes, but the worst is blizzards, and I would hands down take a blizzard over most other types of severe weather. Hands down. Blizzards really are not that bad. Really like the ambiance of this game, but the characters are just so unmemorable. I totally agree. Yeah, Pa is the only one that's even remotely memorable. The rest are kind of like, who are you again? <laughs> you only had a tornado warning once or twice. Yeah. Yeah, we don't really get them here either. We've had warnings before, and I've definitely seen like really sketchy looking skies before. But beyond that, I've never seen like an actual spinning tornado cool pictures this game is really into photography or at least it kind of pretends like it's really into photography what can we look at over here <laughs> frosty in this like fancy sports car if we know anything about characters who want fancy sports cars ingrid and apparently now frosty mice I agreed to tornadoes, but I did not sign up for mice. The literal slogan of these games was for girls who aren't afraid of a mouse. <laughs> You're not allowed to be afraid of them, Nancy. I get it. I would not want a mouse in my house. <laughs> Rhymes. But I Nancy, think mice are adorable. You? Yes, that's me. Scott wants to meet you. Be right there. Oh, yay. Nancy Drew, you made it. I'm Scott Varnell, the person in charge of this meteorological train wreck. Welcome aboard. Did you see the tornado? 
What tornado? Thanks to the lousy equipment that uncle of yours stuck us with, we just spent the last hour chasing down a bunch of cumulonimbi barely capable of spawning a spring shower, let alone a tornado. Wait a minute. Did you see a tornado? Well, yeah. As I was driving up to the farmhouse, it wasn't that big, but it sure threw a lot of debris around. Well, isn't that just peachy? We spend hours racing all over the countryside, and where's all the action? Right in our own backyard. We're never gonna win this thing. The school's gonna pull the plug on us, sell the farm, and that's gonna be all she wrote. And it's all Krollmeister's fault for saddling us with a bunch of Bush League junk. But now that you're here, maybe our luck will change. You'll be reporting to Debbie, but make no mistake. I call the shots around here. In fact, call two things you need to do right off the bat. I gotta give a workshop on tornado preparedness at the junior high school next week, so put a sample disaster kit together for me. If anything's missing, go up the road to Mon Paws and get it there. What else would you like me to do? Second thing you need to do is redesign the warning siren layout for the local community. They just got a set of new sirens and their range is different, so the town asked me, and now I'm telling you, to figure out where to place them so if there is a tornado, everyone will be within earshot of a siren. All the information you need is on the chart in the other room. You have questions about anything, bug Debbie, not me. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Here's the stuff I want you to do, now go away. <laughs> okay, so they're tracking a bunch of tornadoes in Oklahoma. There haven't been any tornadoes where you live at all ever. There was only one recorded earthquake about 100 years ago. Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh my gosh, Julie, you lived through a horrible one when you were two years old. It ripped through your town in Virginia and tore Walmart in half. Oh my goodness, that's so scary. In the UK, the weather is unpredictable, but it's not extreme. Chloe, is it like just a stereotype that it's always raining in the UK or is that actually a thing? Like, is it always cloudy and rainy? Maybe it feels like it's always cloudy and rainy. Nancy faces literal monsters, but she can't deal with a tiny mouse. <laughs> kind of understand. Yeah, I totally get it, Golden Moon. They let this guy into the junior high? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he probably wouldn't be great with, like, middle schoolers. Crazy look back at in the news. It was an F4. Oh my gosh. Scary. And we just learned that F4s are not all that common. So that's insane. This is super sad. Gone with the Wind, A Town Says Goodbye to Ma. It's a really long article, but basically the idea, well, maybe I'll just read it. The storm, like so many storms in this part of the country, came on quickly. The sky seemed to grow darker and more menacing by the second. Lightning cracked in the trees and the storm gusts ripped decorations from storefront windows downtown. Before the sirens even sounded, the first twister touched down. An hour later, as the first beams of sunshine broke through the dissipating clouds, a familiar cherry red pickup lay overturned in the Cooper's South Cornfield. Two days later, it would be discovered. Most people around here simply knew her as Ma. For more than three decades, Betsy Oaks held her post behind the counter of Ma and Pa's store, always ready to welcome the day with a fresh pot of coffee and the latest gossip. Yesterday, for the first time in 30 years, the shutters outside Ma and Pa's stayed closed as a div devastated town began to realize the scope of its loss. So it's super sad. So Pa, obviously, this was his wife, and she, her pickup got picked up by a tornado and turned over, and she did not make it. And that's so sad. No one knows exactly what causes tornadoes to form. There are a lot of theories out there, but we're still years away from being able to accurately predict where the storms will touch down. All we have, said Varnell, is warning. There's nothing we can do once the storm is on the ground. Storm trackers, myself included, have a responsibility to make sure that what happened to Betsy never happens again. I won't stop until we have a forecasting system that truly works. Oof. Oof. Where you live at the moment, it's been so sunny since we've been staying home, but it does rain a lot in the winter. Then again, it's also very sunny in the summer and spring. Okay, well, that's good. Scott goes from being mean to being boring to being whining. Yeah, pretty much, Ray Marie. Junior What's high need... You just saw? What'd you think? What do you mean? Were you excited? Terrified? Did it make you want to go home? What? Actually, that tornado is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life, and I can't wait to see another one. Now that's what I like to see. Wish I could get that sort of enthusiasm out of my students these days. Between you and me, the last few years I've gotten stuck with the worst students. 
I could be telling them about the most exciting storms on record, and all I get back is a sea of bored faces. Before they defunded my department, I got the best of the best. Students who really cared, like Debbie, but those days are over. That must really be disappointing. <sighs> what are you, like, 18? Do me a favor, kid. Don't talk to me about disappointment till you've lived long enough to experience it firsthand. I'm sorry, Nancy. That was... I know you meant well. Anyway, good news is it looks like weather conditions for the next two weeks are going to be ideal for tornado genesis. Which means we could be in for a record-breaking string of tornadoes. You may be putting that enthusiasm to good use. I sure hope so. His emotions are all over the place. Like, don't bite my head off for showing you empathy, dude. <laughs> so mean. Oh, the same stereotype about St. Petersburg. It's always supposed to be nasty, and it's more or less based on reality. That's so funny, because I heard that stereotype too, and then the one time that I got to visit St. Petersburg, it was like 100 degrees and sunny. It's Mel! Mel's playing her cello on the radio. You go, Mel. Okay. Well, I guess we can go meet Debbie. And then do a bunch of chores. <laughs> No reason to be afraid of mice, Nancy. Now, if it was a rat, that's a different story. Yeah. I mean, rats can get huge. Someone please make a compilation of Nancy saying, what do you mean? Especially in these later mysteries. She says it so much. Lab rats are so cute and smart. I'm so for limiting their use for research. Lab rats are adorable. It's like the big, giant, like, sewer ones that are, like, freaky to me. But the, like, the pet ones are so cute. Nancy, hi! You've met Scott, the project leader. I'm Debbie, the project manager. Do you know why Scott is in such a bad mood? I've worked with him for the past five years, and believe it or not, that's his normal mood. When he's in a bad mood, yikes. Sounds like you've been having a lot of equipment problems. Let's just say that Scott is extremely good at misdirecting blame. You think the problems are really Scott's fault? But hey, I could be wrong. Which, by the way, is something you'll never hear him say. Anyway, first thing every morning, I'll brief you on what has to be done that day. As for the rest of today, those two jobs Scott gave you, get them done. Pretty much everything he says in there, I can hear out here. He's not exactly a low talker. The chart with all the siren stuff is in the living room, and that computer quiz you took will tell you what needs to go into the kit. If any items are missing, you can go to Ma and Pa's general store up the road and buy them. Just purchase wisely. Our budget is very limited. And if you haven't introduced yourself to Pa or finished the filing, please do so. And once you're done with all that, you can head out to the cornfield and fix the sprinkler system. Fix the sprinkler system? See, this farmhouse and the acreage it sits on were donated to Canute as a research facility. The chase team gets it during tornado season. The agricultural team's here the rest of the year, so we've agreed to maintain whatever projects they've got going in their absence. Right now, they're in the middle of collaborating on something with this big mucky muck research center in Hawaii. Which is just another way of saying, fix those sprinklers ASAP. So many chores. I found this box out front when I arrived. Thought maybe I'd better turn it in. Wow. There must be a couple hundred dollars in here. Job. Thanks. Payment enclosed. You don't know whose it is? No idea. I heard you tell Scott about seeing that tornado, so my guess is the Twister carried it in from somewhere else. Maybe even somewhere miles from here. I'd feel better if you kept it. Sure. When I get a chance, I'll call the sheriff and report it. What goes in the disaster kit again? You don't remember? No, sorry. To tell you the truth, I have to look up a lot of things myself some days. Check the computer, that should help you out. That's it for now. Okay. Oh, and thanks for driving that car up here for us. That was a big help. See ya. At least Debbie's nice. She's not super memorable, but she's nice. <laughs> Hasn't Nancy seen a lot of more exciting things than tornadoes? She has seen a number of very exciting things. Yes, Scott, because only mean old Nancy's can have disappointment, right? Like, he's so unnecessary. <laughs> Nancy, please use my filing system. I've written the instructions to the right. This is the, like, most ridiculous system, Debbie. <laughs> All 
All right, this one's actually kind of fun to solve. I'm not going to solve all of the puzzles in real time, but this one I might. Okay, so Canute is to the left of the arrow. So maybe let's start with it there. The dots are to the left of the S. The arrow is to the right of the dots. The arrow is immediately next to R. This is to the right of the dots. S is to the left of the circle. I'd better try again. This is immediately next to the S. The circle is to the right of the R. S is immediately next to R. Okay, this is to the left of the arrow. This is to the left of the S. The arrows are to the right of the dots. Hmm. Dots to the left of S. This is to the right of the dots. I'd better try again. Isn't that what I just had? This is to the left of the arrows. The dots are to the left of the S. The arrows are to the right of the circles. This is immediately next to R. This is to the right of the circles. Hmm. And the circles have to be to the right of the arrows. Huh. How can this be to the left of the arrows, but also to the right of the circles? This doesn't seem right. That's because it's not right, Nancy. <laughs> The mice. It was the mice. I could tell by their beady eyes. Gotta go. Your mom actually wants to spend time with you. <laughs> well, enjoy your time with your mom, Jessica. That sounds wonderful. At the end of Argo Pumps, everything wrong with Nancy Drew. He shows all the times the characters say, what do you mean, in Shadow at the Water's Edge? Oh my goodness. This is a puzzle that made you stop the game. I could not function with this puzzle. Oh, I love it. This is such a convoluted filing system, Marie Marie. It's very, I mean, it's a logic puzzle, which tend to be my favorites. So I like that part of it. Um, but I'm confused. Okay, so Canute is to the left of the arrows. The dots are to the left of the S. The arrows are to the right of the dots. See, this is where I'm confused. That doesn't look right. Yeah, thanks, Nancy, for that very... <laughs> helpful information and this is to the right of the dots but to the left of this hmm and the arrows are immediately to the right this is to the left the arrows are immediately next to the R Hmm, no, hmm. that's not right. This is to the left of the arrows. This is to the left of the S. Arrows are to the right of the dots. So maybe like that? The arrows are immediately next to the R. Mm-hmm. This is to the right of the dots. Okay. The S is to the left of the circle. This is immediately next to the S. Excuse All me? Right. Got it. Okay, there we go. Debbie, I finished your super weird filing system. <laughs> Uh, love it. Hmm. Oh. Looks like garbage. A Coco Kringle wrapper. Someone's purchasing corn to make these little piles to do oh. I just saw a mouse over here. I've been seeing more and more of them. Well, probably because of the piles of corn, Debbie. <laughs> Use your eyes. 
Hello, Allison. Welcome to the stream. Ooh, Unpopular Opinion. I love this game. I love Unpopular Opinions. What do you love about this game? This one I'm not going to solve in real time because it usually takes a long time. So, with your guys' permission, I'm going to use my notes. <laughs> Okay. The music's fun, at least. Do, 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 do. Green circles. Sometimes this puzzle's like a funny one for me because sometimes I can get it right away. And sometimes it takes me like half an hour. <laughs> and I want to spare you guys in case it were to take me half an hour. Let's see. It's also super finicky. Because some places it's like... It would look correct, and other places it All wouldn't. All right, that's how it should look. Well, thanks, Nancy. Garrett Ticks, can you explain that a little bit more? Um, disaster kit. Also frosty. What do you like about this game, Caitlin? I like the music. I think the music fits the the season and the, the location and the overall mood of the game pretty well. I do like seeing the tornadoes. I think it's cool to have a mystery surrounded with a theme of, like, nature and, like, natural environments and stuff like that. Um, what else? I like I like the design of it. Like I think the animations are all really strong. The detailing is all really strong. Like a lot of the background stuff I like about this one. Allison, you love the music, the whole weather theme, storm chasing and all things dramatic weather. Also Pa reminds you of your hometown. It does have a really nice like homey town feel. Hi HP Hippogriff, welcome to the stream. Oh, you just got done with school. Oh, that's awesome, Garrett. That's really cool. Hi, I'm Frosty. As you can probably tell from all this equipment, I'm the media guy. Still pictures, audio, video, digital, analog. I do it all. Do it pretty darn well, too. Is there a story behind the name Frosty? Sure is. A couple of years ago, before I met Scott or any other tornado chasers for that matter, I was out taking pictures of this ginormous thunderstorm that was brewing outside Norman. I'd drive for a while, jump out, snap some pictures, roll some video, jump back in, drive some more, just looking for good pictures, you know? I wasn't really paying attention to what the storm was doing until all of a sudden it got really, really dark. And then it just started pouring. And I mean, rain was coming down like my car had stopped under Niagara Falls. And the wind was blowing and the car was swaying. And then it started to hail. First just dime-sized stuff, then quarter-sized, then golf ball-sized. Then all of a sudden, the windshield shatters and a hailstone the size of a fist lands in my lap. Then another, then another. Turns out I'd punched the core of an incredibly powerful HP supercell. You'd punch the what of the who? <laughs> <laughs> HP means high precipitation, lots of rain, and a supercell is a cloud formation capable of producing severe thunderstorms. The core is the worst part of a supercell, where violent updrafts can produce huge hailstones, to say nothing of tornadoes. Did you see one? That time? No. But I did roll down my window and start shooting, and I came away with photos and footage of hail that no one's been able to top yet. Overnight, I went from being Tobias Harlow, run-of-the-mill photographer, to Frosty Harlow, fearless documenter of extreme weather phenomena. Garrett, are you done with school now for the whole year? It's almost summer break, which is pretty exciting. What happened to your arm? What, these scratches? 
Ah, just a few minor war wounds. See, I was climbing the fence next to the old Fraser Creek windmill so I could get a clear shot of some Amatis clouds. And what happens? I drop my camera bag right into a patch of brambles. Thorns just about took my arm off when I went to grab it. How long have you worked for Scott? I joined the team last year after their photographer quit halfway through. This is my first full season. I'm the best thing that's ever happened to this team, I might add. I'm good. I'll catch you later. See ya. <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> Frosty seems to have a bit of an ego. <laughs> right, Raymarie? Your mom is the best at helping with school. Oh, that's so nice, Garrett. I'm so glad. She is a really great teacher. She was actually my teacher when I was in elementary school. She was my science teacher. And I loved having her as a teacher. Okay, so this is like some of the stuff we need in the disaster kit, but we definitely need a lot more stuff. I actually like shopping for the disaster kit. This puzzle is kind of fun. Um, Twister trivia. Disaster emergency planning? Disaster kit. Okay. I love the lines where Nancy sounds confused, right? You punch the who with the what? A disaster kit is, contains essential supplies in case of emergency for every member of your family, including pets. Well, this is relatable for right now. <laughs> Items from basic staples to household tools to first aid kits should be included. Items such as water, sugar, salt, granola bars, batteries, flashlight, can opener, toothpaste, duct tape, and bleach. Full recommended list can be obtained at local emergency management offices. Okay, but why would I have sugar and salt and no other food? Besides granola bars. Like, what am I going to do with the sugar? I'm supposed to be doing homework right now. <laughs> I don't think you're alone, Garrett. I think there are others here as well that are... I mean, it's Friday. It's tough. I get it. Never heard of Mamatis clouds. I think, are those the fluffy ones? So these are the things we need for a disaster kit. But again, like, what am I going to do with the sugar if I have nothing else to make it with? Am I just going to eat raw sugar? <laughs> Yee! I'm so bad at the driving in this game, and I literally never stop at any of the inter intersections. Oh, I missed my turn. Wee! <laughs> oh, oh, no! <laughs> yeah, I love it. Howdy! Come on over here and be friendly. That's more like it. Welcome to Mom Paws. I take it your paw? That's me. That's what everybody in a hundred miles knows me as, Pa. But I'll tell you something most of them don't know. That it's not your real name? Well, ain't you, Miss Smarty Boots. Little Miss Gal from up north who's helping out tornado chases from the Canute. How'd you know that? <laughs> not bad for an old codger, huh? Why, I know all sorts of stuff about you. I even know your cell phone number, Miss Nancy Drew. Let's see, it's... 523-555... Four three nine nine. How do you like them apples? Someone on the Canute team told you I was coming, didn't they? Yeah, that they did. Debbie, she told me to keep an eye out for you and gave me your number. See, if something bad happens while you're all out there chasing twisters, it's important to have a way to get help. Staying connected in an emergency is just about the best way to stay safe. I'm kind of your emergency action central. Keep your numbers right here by the phone. Debbie, fill you in the way things work around here yet? Don't things work the way they normally do in stores? Not for y'all. You canoe folk got a lot of credit here, so instead of paying cash for food and equipment and such, you can charge it. You want to buy something that's not on Debbie's list, like something from the snack section, you got to pay for it using pa pennies. Using what? Pa pennies. Like this here. A little something I invented to make coming in here a little more interesting for tourists. In fact, go ahead and take it. You could use it or keep it as a souvenir. Hey, great. Thanks. Just the mom pa way of saying nice to meet you. So do you ever chase tornadoes? Silliest thing I've heard tell of. Around here, you're lucky if a tornado don't come chasing after you. People who do that are just asking for it. So you've seen a tornado? Of course I have. Pretty much everybody I know has. You research types at all your meters and senses and recorders and such. Chasing around out there thinking you're doing something all big and important. Know what the only real thing you can do when you see a tornado is, Miss Nancy Drew? Watch. 
You watch this dark, rampaging monster go tearing across the land, wrecking everything it touches, till all of a sudden, it ain't there no more. You can't go after it, you can't make it put everything back, you can't even get even with it, because it's just gone. All you can do is stand there thinking, now that ain't fair. That just ain't fair. Sounds like you're talking from personal experience. That I am. That I am. What else you need? Well, it was nice meeting you. I was just gonna say the same thing. Y'all take care now. Pause so sad. <laughs> Ray Marie, I work with students um, in grades kindergarten through fifth grade. So basically all of the elementary levels. I'm too lazy to do homework. <laughs> I feel that. It's really hard to stay motivated this time of year for sure. The sugar, I think, is to help people who are diabetic <clears throat> that need sugars to keep them from going into shock. Oh, it's also a mood booster, like chocolate, so it's for psychological purposes. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yes, the Wickford boxes here behind Pa. So we've got the Wickford Chocolate Company and their lovely boxes. I love posters like this. These are super cool. Uh, poor Pa. I know, isn't it sad, Glazed Donut? We are going to save our paw pennies because eventually we need to buy a bunch of um, moon cheese. Like a bunch of moon cheese. <laughs> Alright, so we need toothpaste. So maybe let's add a toothpaste. Our remaining budget, $30. Okay. And we want to try and find the best deals. Buy two different blue tag items. Get a different blue tag item of equal or lesser value free. Okay, well, we definitely want to do that. Free is good. So we'll get some Godola bars. These dingbats are so funny. Okay. Sugar, salt. Buy one green tag item. Get a different green tag item of equal or lesser value half off. That sounds like a good deal. We need the sugar. So a green tag item of equal or lesser value, half off. So maybe this one? And let's see what else. Milk, orange juice. We don't need that. Those are not uh, perishable. I mean, okay. How much was the sugar? The sugar was expensive. Oh, I love this puzzle. Yeah, me too. Mm, how much was the sugar? Because the flashlights are expensive. 30% off of a marked price. So 30% off is a third. And a third of a six is two. So that's $4. I think they're the same price, aren't they? Or maybe they're not. <laughs> Some of the brand names in Paz Store are funny. I love them. Favorite Scooby-Doo movie. I I always love the live action one, and I can't remember what it's called. But the um, they're like on an island, and then the people are secretly monsters on the island because of like this curse thing. That's my favorite live action one, and my favorite episode from the original Scooby-Doo series is the one with the mummy. I think that one's hilarious. Canned water <laughs> under the salt. Yeah, you know, canned water for all of your basic needs. Okay, no, so 30% of six is $1.80 off. So this is actually the better deal for the batteries. So that's, we'll go with those. Sixty percent off purchase of any two different yellow tag items. That sounds like a good deal. Hmm. If we do buy two different blue take items, get a different blue take item of equal or lesser value for free. So maybe this can opener, this duct tape, and this flashlight, because they're all about the same price, will get us our best deal. Now, is the sugar blue or is the salt blue? Oh, neither. They're green. Oh, it's blue. The granola bars. Hmm, that doesn't help me much. 
Although they're still pretty cheap. We also need bleach. Dollar off the marked price. Buy one green tag, get a second one. And water. Hmm. One will be enough. What else do I need? Let's return this one. And is this one cheaper? Yes, okay. And then if we get water... Is that everything we need? Looks like it. Water, bleach, a can opener, duct tape, a flashlight and batteries, toothpaste. This is also the toothpaste from Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake, um, which I think is hilarious. Salt and sugar and granola bars. Okay, I think we got everything. Scooby-Doo the first live action movie. Your personal favorite is Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. Yes, that one's fun too. Hello, slightly respected. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? I think I've got everything I need. Can I pay for these supplies now? I suppose so. Thanks. Sure thing. I've been very hesitant to try the new Scoob movie, Ray Marie, just because he talks a lot. Like, Scooby-Doo is talking in full sentences, and it's just... That's not usually what he does, and it bothers me. <laughs> Probably more than it should, but it bothers me. I think I've seen Scooby-Doo in Zombie Island. I think. Hi, Grace. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Groundbreaking research for $100 million prize... The meteorolo meteorological community was stunned last fall when the Green Skies Corporation, a leading weather safety developer, announced a competition promising a $100 million grant to the storm team whose research and theories offered the most promise for discovering the secret of tornado genesis. Tornado genesis, the process by which tornadoes form, is still largely a mystery to science. Though Doppler radar and other technological advances have greatly improved tornado forecasting, little is known about the actual causes that trigger a tornado. In two storms with nearly identical conditions, one may produce a tornado while the other may not. As one of the largest weather safety developers and insurers, Green Skies is looking for the answer. Since the contest's announcement last fall, two teams have emerged as the clear-cut leaders, New York's Kingston University, led by Brooke Tavanaugh, and our own local Canute College, led by Scott Varnell. The two frontrunners are busy spending the remainder of the chase season tracking down the best severe storms, gathering as much data as possible, and testing out their theories in the field. With a rare front system rolling in that promises an atypically large outburst of tornadoes, the research gathered over the next week could provide the deciding factor for the winning team. So... They have a pretty high-pressure um, competition going on. Your favorite Scooby-Doo was the crossover episode with Supernatural, or as it was known as Scooby Natural. That sounds so fun. Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost. The Loch Ness Monster movie. Oh my gosh. There's a, there was like a mini-series on Netflix, I think. That had kind of rather than each episode being a separate mystery there was kind of an overarching mystery and i actually like loved it i binge watched that little mini series i think there were two seasons i binge watched it in, in like less than a week but that one was super cool and i can't remember what that's called but i loved that if a tornado was roaring down on you common sense would say to run to safety but that's not the case with canute college's leading meteorologist scott varnell when a tornado is forming varnell puts himself and his team directly into the storm's deadly path in the name of science basically another thing saying that they are researching tornado genesis and his team is one of the top two jackalope fight that's a hint to little jackalope from the her interactive marketing team and then we have this awesome little museum that teaches us a little bit about Oklahoma. And the Dust Bowl. Basically, agriculture kind of like got so out of hand that all of the earth, the topsoil, became pure dust and resulted in horrible dust storms. Fact or fiction, keeping yourself safe during a tornado. Land rush. Mariazzi's um, arrowhead display. Mariazzi from 
Secret of Shadow Ranch. The Trail of Tears. Really sad um, piece of history about how the Cherokee were forced from their native lands. Um, homesteaders. The divining rod that's supposed to be here seems to be missing. Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated, that's it. Okay. Divining rod is missing, and we got a pop penny, so that's cool. All right, let's head back. We have our disaster kit. Wee! Whoa! <laughs> I love it. Okay, it looks much nicer out now. We can fix this. More pop pennies, which is good. This one also takes me a really long time normally. Hello, Sarah! Welcome to the stream! How are you? Swooping in a little late, that is totally fine. Okay. So, let's see. It's sort of like a Sudoku in a way. It's not that one though. Because you can't have them intersect vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. That's what makes this one extra tricky is that it can't intersect diagonally. There we go. Again, just trying to save time on some of the less exciting puzzles. <laughs> Hopefully that's okay with everyone. I love these little guys so much. Prairie dogs are so stinking cute. I love Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. It's so good. I love the idea of an overarching mystery for Scooby-Doo. Your sister and I just started replaying this game and never finished. <laughs> I don't blame you, Grace. <laughs> don't like that there are different voice actors for Fred. Zac Efron... Amanda Seyfried voices Daphne, Velma is Gina Rodriguez, and Shaggy or Will Forte, even though Frank Welker voices Scooby-Doo. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so funny. I'm partial to the voices that we've had in the past. I totally know what you mean there. Hello, Lindsay. Welcome to the stream. Has Nancy talked to Pa with absolutely no tact or sensitivity yet? Not quite yet, but we're getting close. Uh, let's go put our stuff in the disaster kit. <laughs> Time to turn in, Nancy. No. You can't tell me when to go to bed. <laughs> You're not my mom, Debbie. That ought to do it. I finished that disaster kit for Scott. Nice job. I'm supposed to remind you to check in with Debbie. She might need you to do something else. Will do. Bye, Garrett. Thanks so much for popping in. It was nice to see you. Okay. So, what's up? I've harassed you enough. Pop in any time. Nothing new for Frosty. Probably nothing new with Debbie. What's up? Would you happen to know who threw out the sales receipt for dried corn that's in the wastebasket over there? Dried corn? Why would anyone around here buy dried corn? To make the little piles of dried corn I keep finding around here. They look a lot more man-made than mouse-made. Are you suggesting someone has been deliberately feeding the mice? Yes. <laughs> I think someone's been trying to lure them inside. Everyone on this team has his quirks, that is for sure. But deliberately causing a mouse infestation? Nobody's that mental. Why is there a file in the cabinet labeled Grange Theater? Theater's kind of a passion with me. So when I got here at the beginning of tornado season, I found out the Grange needed a stage manager for the play it's putting on and volunteered for the job, and soon became the sound and lighting director as well, which means when I'm not here or out in the field, I'm there. It sounds like you keep pretty busy. You don't even know the half of it. We're approaching final dress for the Grange's big play of the year. Everyone from around here shows up. You should ask Pa about it. He's got much more of a passion for the stage than you'd expect from a man in overalls. I better get to work. Have fun! As someone who did community theater, that's like a very realistic experience. Like when you're in a small town and you have like a very core group of actors in the town that are kind of known I'm for it. In, Nancy. It's so fun. What's going on? 
What did you mean when you said before that the school would sell the farm if you lose? Just what I said. Right now, Canute College offsets the cost of maintaining this place with funds from private companies like the Healy Healy. But apparently that money's about to dry up, so if we don't win this competition, there goes the farm. Do you remember that interview you gave after Ma died? Nope. Why do you ask? I read it, and it seems like well, a lot has changed for you over the last few years. What's that supposed to mean? You sounded much more excited about your work. Yeah, well, that's the reality of life, Nancy. You don't honestly think life gets more exciting as you age, do you? Because it doesn't. Dreams fade, hearts get broken, friends get too lost in their own lives to call. Trust me, enjoy your youth while you have it, kid. Because the downhill ride, it ain't fun. That's not true. <laughs> now I see why Debbie speaks so highly of you. Optimists of a feather. Tell you what, I'll admit that you just may be right. I hope you're right. I just don't think you are. Let's switch topics, all right? This has been a long enough trip down memory lane for the day. I'll quit bugging you now. Whatever. You can't just hide from your feelings, Scott. That's not how it works. <laughs> it bothers me when celebs are favored over actual voice actors. Totally. If you ever do this farmhouse in The Sims, I'm sure you can do a better job of designing it. This actually is one that I totally want to do in The Sims. I think this would be a really fun one to recreate. Who would ever buy dried corn? People who love popcorn. That's who, Debbie. Exactly. Hi, Luna. Welcome to the stream. Just popping in to say hello. Also, in my opinion, this game is unfairly hated. I actually enjoyed it. That's great, though. I love that. I'm personally not a huge fan of it, but I do see like a lot of the positives of it, and I love to hear... Um, other people loving games that I'm not necessarily a huge fan either of. Like, I think that's really cool. Voice actors of Scooby-Doo weren't contacted to return for Scoob. That's so disappointing. I saw a video essay on that, um, about how that's basically the marketing strategy of a lot of animation studios now, is that they just get famous people, and then that's the only draw of the actual film, or the show. It's not, like, the story anymore. <laughs> Except for the gray in his beard. Scott doesn't look that old. Right? What does he look like? I don't know. Late 40s, maybe? Early 50s? Good morning, Debbie. Nancy, good morning! Got a few things for you today. That storm really shook up those sensors out in the cornfield. Could you put them back in line? After that, you should go spend some time in the field with Frosty. He really wants to show you some of the basics of storm photography. <laughs> Any chance to show off? I'll check back with you in a bit. Have fun! OMG yes, do this in The Sims. My ultimate goal is to do at least one build from every mystery in The Sims. This farmhouse needs less beige. It's funny because some of the buildings are very true on the inside to what they look like on the outside. And I could probably make this one yeah, because then this could be like a bedroom or a bathroom, and then there would be this middle section. Yeah, we could make this work in The Sims, for sure. Speaking of The Sims, are anyone who, like, plays The Sims it in chat... Like I need to connect the red beam to the red sensor <clears throat> and the blue beam to the blue sensor. The Sims team has been releasing more and more information about the um, newest expansion pack, and I am so excited. It got a lot of hate initially, but I think um, people are coming around a little bit more. Which I love, because I was, like, super excited from the get-go. The only one they got was Frank Welker, who's done Scooby-Doo since 2002. Oh, that's interesting. We never get to see the upstairs of the farmhouse. Why? And that would be my favorite part of the farmhouse to do, because then I'd get to do some, like, really cool, like, country-style bedrooms. Like, that'll be so fun. Maybe if we do... No, that doesn't work. That's a silly idea, wizard kitten. What are you thinking? But this, though, that looks good for red. But then we need to figure out the blue. Hmm. This one, this one, this one. That looks there right. There we go. No, I am staying at Canute. 
As it is, he's already near the edge. We just have to give him a little push. No one is going to suspect a thing. I don't know how I feel about this anymore. This is not what I agreed to. I mean, when I said I'd help you, I didn't mean... Way too late to get cold feet here, Frosty. Scott needs to be taken care of. You know that, and I know that. <sighs> you're right. But we can't... No, you're right. It's time to get rid of him. Hello? Grohlmeister here. This Nancy Drew? Yes, it's me. Now, Indy, just when were you planning on bringing me up to speed on all the goings-on out there in Tornado Alley? Sorry, I meant to call... Actually, this isn't the best time. Well, that's no excuse. In fact, it's all the more reason to call me and keep me up to the latest on all the happenings going on out there. Okay, I'll make sure to do that. You had better, Indy. I've got my hands full down here at the warehouse. I don't have time to follow up and make sure you're getting things done out there, all right? But now, tell me what you've dug up on the team so far. Tell me about this Scott character. He's a little hard to read. There seems to be some distance between him and the rest of the team. It might be because he wants it that way, but there could be something else. It's almost like no one fully trusts him. Interesting. Hmm. You'll make sure to keep a close eye on that one. Of course, but... But he's not your only suspect? Right. Well, good. Don't hold back. Tell me everything you know. Uh, what's up with the shutter bug? Frosty, is it? He and Debbie are plotting something, and whatever it is sounds a little sinister. Plotting? How so? Well, I overheard them talking. They were talking about how someone, I assume Scott, was close to the edge, and they were going to do something about it. You stay close to the both of them. Report back to me when you're done. Crowmeister, you're so loud. <laughs> Good morning, Nancy. <laughs> um, I'm not positive when my next Sims build will post, Allison, but I only have four school days left, which means my summer break is coming up pretty quick, which means I'll be able to start posting videos a lot more regularly which i'm very excited for and i definitely plan to continue doing um nancy drew sims builds for sure so the new expansion pack sarah is the sims 4 eco lifestyle and they're basically introducing a whole new game system where it like parts of the world can get really industrial and smoggy and like full of trash and other parts of the world can be um really like modern and green and using all sorts of different technologies and it you can expand it to other worlds you can turn it off if you don't want to have that and you just want some of the new stuff but it looks so cool and they're introducing like candle making and bug farming and vertical planters and so many things that just look so cool i'm really uh, pumped for it Frank Welker has been the voice of Fred since the very first Scooby-Doo in 1969. That is impressive. We haven't met Chase yet. Whoever just came in, give me a hand over here, would you? Uh, sure. Save me a lot of time if you kindly fix the LED display on the dash while I fix the wiring out here. But I've never fixed an LED display before. Just get inside and I'll tell you what's what. Okay. What y'all are looking at is the fuse board for the screen. The fuse are all there and they're all good, but the display won't work till you rearrange them. See how they numbered from one to eight? Yeah. What you gotta do is rearrange them so no consecutively numbered fuses are touching in any direction. Including diagonals? Yep. Fuse number one can't be touching fuse number two, which can't be touching three, which can't be touching four, and so on. Got that? I think so. Good. You know you're done when the screen lights up. Any luck, I'll be done out here about the same time. Oh, is this how things work? Niall by Krollmeister. Also, I feel like the introduction to Krollmeister was kind of disappointing. Okay, one and eight. Have to be in the middle, I think, because we need as different of numbers as possible. But then we would need, like, five and four and two and three here and then six and seven okay but the one is different so what if we did that maybe eight six they 
can't be touching diagonally either. So those are all fine. I feel like that's correct. Oh no, five and four. <laughs> those aren't correct. What about if we do that? But then six and seven are wrong. Aha! I did it! Even the car is beige. <laughs> and I'm done out here. How's that for timing? All the beige. You're Nancy, the new gopher, ain't you? Well, I'm Chase. I ain't gonna shake your hand because my hand's kind of a mess. Again, I appreciate the help. Do they call you Chase because you, you know, chase tornadoes? Do they call you Nancy because you Nancy too many questions? Sorry, that was supposed to be funny. A lot of people think that, but the truth is, it's my name. Has been since before the day I was born. How long have you been chasing tornadoes? This here's my first time. Took a class from Scott last semester. Next thing I know, I'm on his team. Right now, I'm fixing the car the fella you were placing was driving when he busted his leg. It's pretty much my job, fixing stuff. From what I hear, you must be a busy guy. Yeah, the team's had a share of technical difficulties, that's for sure. Are you sorry you signed on? Heck no. I like fixing stuff, and I like keeping busy, so this here's the perfect job for me. Plus, I'm learning a whole lot about twisters. You live in these parts, the more you know about them, the better. Why do you think so much equipment has been malfunctioning lately? Stuff breaks. If your luck's bad, it breaks a lot. Being such a negative person, though, Scott's like a bad luck magnet. With him in charge, I'd be more surprised if stuff wouldn't break him down all the time. How do you like working with Scott? Other than the fact that he can be ornier than a never-ridden bull in a buck and shoot, and can holler longer and louder than all the football coaches in Oklahoma put together? I like him fine. Got this sick sense when it comes to twisters. Never seen nothing like it. Kind of spooky sometimes. Is there anyone on the team you don't like working with? Is I like working with pretty much everybody. Oh, I suppose Frosty gets on my nerves sometimes. Mostly because he likes himself so much, there seems to be little need for anyone else to go to the trouble. But most days we get along fine. Spill the tea, Chase. Who do you hate? The guy I'm replacing, what was the matter with his car? A bunch of stuff. Reason he broke down in the middle of that storm and slipped in all that hell was because his car had run out of antifreeze. Should I say coolant? And that's because mice chewed holes in his hose and made it leak. Have mice done anything like that before? Well, I don't know about here, but I saw a mouse chew clean through a 2 by 4 in less than an hour once. <laughs> of course, that was probably because my neighbor's dog was one piece of chicken wire away from having it for lunch. But I don't know what them mice found so appealing about that hose, but they sure went to town. It's over there on the workbench. Take a gander at it if you want. Do you know a way I could earn some paw pennies? Tell you what. Over there on my workbench is a bunch of circuit boards for the weather balloons where I was putting up. Now, since I can't put the board to use till it's been wired up just right, how about for every board you wire up right, I pay you something in pop pennies? Of course, since wiring up wrong just makes more work for me, you make too many mistakes and I only pay you some of what you earned up till then. Depending on how you did. What do you say? Sounds great. Like my dad always said, the best things in life are the things you earn. Anytime you want, just go on over there and start wiring up boards. There's some instructions over there that'll help get you going. Anything else on your mind? I've bugged you long enough. Nice meeting you, Nancy. Just do right by Scott and you'll do fine. <laughs> Just don't anger Scott and you'll do fine. That is not what a mouse looks like. <laughs> that is not a mouse bite. That is very clearly somebody tampering with the hose. Oop. This place could really use a cat. Shaggy has been voiced by Matthew Lillard, the actor who played him in the two live action movies since 2010. That's really cool. Shaggy's voice is so iconic. Okay, so these are the circuit boards. I mean, they're pretty easy. So they're not a bad way to make money. It's still kind of silly, though. We can earn a few pennies. Why not? Not going to do too many of them, though. I'll keep going until they start to get hard. <laughs> Three, four, five... So does anyone have any fun plans for their weekend? It's a long weekend, which is nice. One, 
two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, hmm. two, two, four. That looks right. Okay, that's good. All done. I'll take forty pop pennies. You did real fine. Go get what you got coming. Go get what you got coming. <laughs> that's great. The pop penny system is interesting to me. Very interesting. Willard has come the closest to matching the original voice actor for Shaggy Casey Kasem. He does sound pretty good. The Hex Girls are really popular characters. Oh yeah! I totally remember the Hex Girls. That's awesome. Hello, Nancy. I'll quit bugging you now. Fine by me. <laughs> You're so rude, Scott. Okay, we did the corn thing, and then she said we... We should go out with Frosty. What's up? Thanks for all the advice. See ya. So I guess we're gonna go out and take some pictures with Frosty now. Do some photography. I haven't even looked at my phone. Ooh, nice background hinting to shadow at the water's edge. That's actually a really pretty picture. I love that. The Japanese garden. Good old Hardy Boys. See, even the her interactive people know that the Hardy Boys were designed so poorly in Creature of Kapu Cave that we're like, we'll just go with the, like, the last train to Bloom and Canyon ones is canon. <laughs> and we won't, we won't, um, acknowledge the fact that they had a horrible design in Creature of Kapu Cave. It's Isis. Oh, Venetian Garden from Curse of Blackmore Manor. Squirrels from Waverly. Oh, Mel's Dorm. We love Mel. You know what? I want to honor the squirrels because Waverly is my favorite game. And I'm feeling yellow today. I don't often feel yellow, but we're going to go with yellow today. At least the weather is finally getting nice where you live, but you feel like we skipped over spring and we're bright into summer. I totally know what you mean. It's nice that the weather is finally starting to get a little bit warmer. Hello, Detective Drew. Welcome to the stream. Don't forget me. How are you doing? All right, so let's just drive around with Frosty. Okay, let's start taking oh. pictures. <laughs> All right, where's the best place to go? We've got a lot of different formations to spot, so if you head on out to the Fraser Creek Windmill, that'd be perfect right now. Okay, where's the windmill? We definitely just, like, crashed head-on into a semi-truck. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're actually going the right way. That's cool. Whoa! That looked like a cop car. Don't mind me, officer. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> nope. Where's the windmill? Oh no! Me first! Is this the windmill? No, but it's a pretty pond. I might start taking pictures here first. This will help you identify the shots you need to take. When we get some good photos, we'll move on. No purple, what? Right? I usually do purple. I'm usually in a... Usually go with my favorite color, but I'm, I'm feeling yellow today for some reason. Yellow was my favorite color when I was a kid. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. Okay. Now, I never know. Is it better to just take, like, one picture so then I have all of the formations, or is it better to zoom? Do you guys know? You've got to keep a sharp eye out, or you'll miss what's right in front of you. I'll be sure to download the photos into the gallery when we get back to the farmhouse. Cloud formations with Frosty. Eh, my phone tried to autocorrect it to crusty. <laughs> That's the idea. Keep trying. This is a good game. It definitely has its merits, Detective Drew. I would agree. Because we can only take, like, what, 30 photos? I'm going to pan in to take a picture of this formation, because this is very clearly one of the ones that we need. I have never ever gotten all of the cloud formations with frosty not once that's a good one is it <laughs> i 
think you're lying, Frosty. I don't think that's a good one. Okay, so we're, we're supposed to go to the windmill. Which is... Oh, there it is. Okay. Like, around here. Excuse me. I don't stop at intersections. Is it up here? Whoa! Gosh, where is it? Oh, it's my semi! <laughs> it's the semi again. My worst enemy. That's a dead end. Where am I? Wee! I'm gonna pass the semi. Room. <laughs> I swear this is not how I drive in real life. Oops, sorry. You know, I didn't always want to be a storm photographer. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? I'm gonna completely ignore that. <laughs> oh, now we're at the windmill. You don't have to do it. No, you don't. It's more just for fun. So you don't think it matters if you zoom in or not. Good point. Nancy needs some driving lessons. <laughs> Uh, I'm surprised there isn't a game over for crashing into too many cars. I wonder if there is, though. Like, if I crash into enough, will I eventually get it? If I crash into enough... Oops. My expert driving skills, <laughs> Detective Drew. <laughs> See, this is a good one, too. I'm actually getting a fair number of um, pictures. So I'm going to take a photo there. That's a good one. Thank you, Frosty. And then what if we, like, zoom down here? Because this totally looks like formations that we need. And up here also definitely looks like formations that we need. And I don't think it says, like, in the book when you get them. Because you have to upload them first, which is silly. It's silly, Frosty. Maybe we should do the upper left corner, too. That's, That's a nice a shot of the one. windmill. Yeah, it is, actually. Like, the lighting is actually quite nice. I feel like I usually don't get this nice of pictures of the windmill. Okay, where else can we go? So we've been down here. We need to go up here a little bit. Excuse me. Whoa, cow. Oh, truck. Nice, getting lots of cloud pictures. Although I feel like I already got all of these. That's a good one. Thanks for the encouragement, Frosty. <laughs> okay, so now this one's a ways away. We gotta get all the way to the left. So, yeah. All the way to the left. So just, let's just keep going left, you know? Wee! Oh! <laughs> Excuse me! Okay, nice. These appear to be good. Those are good pictures. That's the idea. Keep trying. We already got that though, didn't we? Like that was one of the first ones we got. Yeah. Set images as wallpaper. I mean, good enough. Bad driving. <laughs> what do you mean, bad driving? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> this isn't bad driving. Okay. That's a good one. I think we've taken as many pictures with Frosty as we can manage. Let's go... I mean, should we go talk to Pa? We. Whoa! <laughs> Oops. So you got the chasing bug. 
Not really. <laughs> What's going on there, Nancy? Oh, yay, we can be, like, completely um, tactless now and ask him about his dead wife. <laughs> it's so horrible, it's so sad. Hello, love hug. welcome to the stream. I died ten times trying to drive the car. It's so hard. I was just wondering, where's the ma part of ma and pa's? Ma? Oh, she's around, and you know, running errands and such. She'll be in later. What else you need? Debbie tells me you're pretty involved in the local theater. Now that's a true fact if there ever was one. Nothing quite like being backstage when the lights go down. Come to think of it, it's just like that moment right before the storm hits. When the world goes dark and quiet. All you can do is cross your fingers and hope for the best. So what's this play about? About this place, of course. From covered wagon times up to today. All about the men and women that made this town what it is today. I'm playing Percy Rutherford Hardcastle. Town chef and area's first librarian. Back in those days, was well, no small thing to return a book late. That sounds... interesting. Gonna be. If you're not out chasing Twisters open at night, you should come. We're pretty near sold out, but I'll try to save your ticket. Did you know the divining rod that's supposed to be on display in your museum is missing? Missing? Why, I had no idea. How do you like that? Somebody must have took it. Why would somebody take it? Well, now that's a good question. All thing it's good for is fine and all. That's pretty much just a superstition. For most folks, that is. Some people around these parts still swear up and down divine and rods work. Well, guess I'm just gonna have to whittle me up a fake one and stick it in the display. Just be our little secret, okay? Good seeing you again. Don't let them canutes work you too hard. I love Pa too, Detective Drew. He's so sweet. Are you sure you're a good driver? <laughs> yes! I'm a great driver. What could possibly give you any indication that I'm not a great driver? <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm an excellent driver. <laughs> oh, I love it. What's up? That's it for now. Have fun! I did all my chores. What else do I need to do? What's going on? I'll quit bugging you now. Fine by me. I want to play this game. Do you have it, Detective Drew? Prairie dogs! Cutest ever. Hey there. I'll let you go. Bye now. Nobody wants to talk to me. Nobody wants to give me more chores. Which is weird. Usually they can't stop giving me chores. Um, I guess we can talk to Frosty and upload our pictures. Because that was like technically one of our chores. Uh, camera. Download... We'll see how many we get checked off with our pictures here. The skies where I am currently look exactly like this. <laughs> Just a blank sheet of clouds. Okay, you are a great driver. Yes, thank you! <laughs> Aren't I, though? Just the best? Are you serious? We only got two? We got the Mimatis clouds, pouch-like clouds frequently seen drooping from the underside of a cumulonimbus anvil, and the shelf clouds, low horizontal cloud formation that slopes downward and away from the base of the parent cumulonimbus cloud. Well, that's disappointing. We got nothing else? What's up? I need to get going. Oh, I almost forgot. Do me a favor and give this to Chase for me. I borrowed it from him. Keep forgetting to return it. Sure. Thanks, Nancy. You're the bomb. Oh, I'm sorry you don't have time to play it, Detective Drew. 
hopefully this can stand in as like a it's late nancy go to bed good well, Tony, get off get off get off who's he talking to how come something that makes such a mess be worth so much money i'm never gonna get this stuff off these are my best boots dang it get out that was a little weird that is such a mood chase like, I also yell at inanimate objects that aren't doing what I want. <laughs> hey there. Frosty asked me to return this to you. Thanks. Does he borrow stuff from you a lot? Hardly ever. Him and me don't exactly have a ton of stuff in common. He's the outgoing, sophisticated type, and I'm just a simple country boy. Won't let me forget it, neither. What's Debbie's relationship to Frosty like? Well, I always figured she didn't have much use for him. But you know, lately, seems like she and him been hanging out with each other a lot. Nothing romantic or anything like that, just, you know, talking. Sure don't know about what. I'd better get going. See you around. I thought I got wall to Golden Moon. I think we got cheated out of cloud pictures. Watching you drive that car is very entertaining. Thank you, love a hug. <laughs> I'm glad it's entertaining. These are totally clouds, right? <laughs> These are clouds, right? These are clouds we need, right? How many times did it take you to get your license? I got your got mine on my second try. I hated the maneuvers that they made you do. Par parallel park, turn around, and intersection, and hill start. Yeah, I got. I did get mine on my first try. I took my test the day I turned 16, or like the day after I turned 16, and I got it on my first try, and the one thing that I did um, not get a pass on was parallel parking. But they gave you three not passes, so I was able to do it. And to this day, I still generally avoid parallel parking. <laughs> I always get too far away from the curb, it's so hard. I was only kidding, I'm sure you drive great. Driving in video games is always hard. <laughs> Yeah, I promise in real life I don't drive on the left side of the road and purposely crash into semi-trucks. <laughs> I'm gonna upload... To turn in, Nancy. I'm gonna upload these pictures, because I feel like I might get another cloud picture. Maybe? Maybe not. Eh? Nope. <laughs> it never works. Never works for me. Alright, well, Debbie said we can go to bed now, so that's good. Our second day was short. This is a broadcast of the Hello? emergency is notification there? system. There have been multiple reports of a tornado touchdown in the area. All listeners are advised to seek shelter until further notice. I'd better get down into the cellar until the storm passes. Rut row, Raggy. Shoot, the power must be out. I'm looking for candles. Can you help? Someone is out there, right? Hello? Who's there? Hello? I'd better look into that in the morning. I mean, it was very clearly Scott, right? Good morning. What did you think of that storm last night? Pretty loud, huh? Well, yeah. I think it would have been impossible to sleep through that. You'd be surprised. Chase and Frosty? Those two could sleep through a circus explosion. Before I forget, Scott wants to talk to you. So make sure you go in there as soon as you leave here, okay? Sure thing. Since it doesn't look like we'll be chasing any storms today, the prairie dogs that have taken up residence by the cornfield, I just got noticed that the ag people are going to exterminate them. What? But that's not fair. They're not hurting anyone. You're right. Fortunately, there's time for you to move them to the other side of the barn, but you're going to have to move quickly. I told Chase to come up with a way to move them so they don't get hurt. Hopefully he's figured it out by now. So after you talk to Scott, go talk to Chase. Got it. Great. Thank you so much. I do it myself, but I'm buried in work right now. You're a lifesaver. 
Literally. I'm your gopher, that's what I am. <laughs> I like that you have so much fun driving in this game. It's definitely like the part of this game that I have the most fun with, that's for sure. Where is everyone, right, Golden Moon? Deaf a man, at least. Yeah, and like he doesn't have the build of Pa or Chase, so it's basically like we're, di we're narrowed down to Frosty or Scott messing around with something on the coffee table. Imagine Nancy Drew crossing over with Scooby-Doo. That would be so fun. Dr. Deborah Kirkham. It gives me great pleasure to offer you the position of assistant professor in our Department of Meteorology under the Department of Atmospheric Sciences. This four-year term position is effective beginning the next academic year with an annual starting salary of 70000 This appointment is a tenure-track position to be reviewed at the end of the four-year term. That is a good job offer. As a faculty member of the Department of Atmospheric Sciences, you will be expected to conduct active research during the spring summer storm seasons. Both the Atmospheres Research Lab and the Severe Weather Lab have expressed interest in having you join their teams. You may also choose to set up your own research space in collaboration with other, other meteorology faculty members. We are also authorized to offer you reimbursement for reasonable moving expenses from Canute, Oklahoma to Ithaca, New York, as well as a housing supplement to help you get settled. Dang, Debbie, take it. That is a really good job offer. You go, girl. <laughs> okay, and a man was looking at that. I am going to... And someone who's not bald. Hmm, who could it be exactly, Golden Moon? <laughs> the storm isn't loud. The sirens were what's loud. That's true. Save the prairie dogs. They are so cute. I love the prairie dogs. What is going on? All right, before I talk to Scott, I'm going to go fill up my water bottle real quick and take a quick bathroom break, but I'll leave you here. Um, maybe I'll let you sit outside. Nancy, Scott's waiting to talk to you. Don't forget. Yeah, yeah, Debbie. I just want them to have some good scenery to look at while I'm hanging out. Here, you can watch the prairie dogs. Except they all just go into their holes. Do they ever pop up back? No, they don't. Okay, you can look at the beautiful cornfield. <laughs> I will be right back. All right, we're back. Nancy do. <laughs> I love it. The crossover we all need. Nancy do. Oh my gosh, funny. Okay. So let's talk to Scott and then we'll save the prairie dogs. Nancy, hi. Look, um, Debbie tells me it would be good for morale if I gave people around here a few attaboys every now and then. So, I just wanted to say you did a pretty 
Fair job driving during the chase yesterday. We didn't have a, a fair chase. Uh, we didn't have a chase at all. <laughs> Thank you. Well, let's not get cocky. I mean, there's always room for improvement. For instance, when you're driving in a steady downpour, you should always... Ah! Did you see that? Did you see that? Those dagnabbit mice are everywhere, and I'm sick of it. So if you were wondering what your next job was going to be, now you know. Get rid of the mice in here. Just make sure you do it humanely, or Debbie will never let me hear the end of it. Maybe you can get one of those Piper guys, or better yet, some kind of catch-and-release trap at that Ma and Pa store. Just get it done, okay? Okay. So now we got another chore. We're going to save the mice. So first we're going to save the prairie dogs, and then we're going to save the mice. Hey there. I'm supposed to relocate those prairie dogs. How do I do that without hurting them? By using the handy dandy prairie dog vacuum I just invented. Won't hurt one single hair on their fur little heads. At least it won't after I replace this tube with a bigger one. How soon are you supposed to move them? By the end of the day. Well then get yourself over to Mom Paul's and trade this tube in for one that's a bigger size. I'll set you up as soon as you get back. Great, thanks. Anything else on your mind? I'll check back with you later. See you around. <laughs> fair job, fair job driving. There we go. I can talk. This game takes place around the same time of May as it is right now. Oh my gosh, you're right. That's crazy. Oh wait, we need to go to Mon Paz. Room. Oh, there are no cars for me to crash into. Oh, there's a green one. See expert driving skills. What can I do for you, little lady? I need a bigger tube for a vacuum. Chase is building for me. Can you help me out? Ba sure, as long as you do a little something for me. What's that? Head over the snack aisle. You can update the display I got set up over there. Sure. That mouse trap you have in the museum, the one that lets people catch mice instead of kill them, do you think that maybe I could borrow that? Well, I think I could lend it to you, sure. As long as you do a little something for me first. You bet. You can update the tornado display I got set up over there. Just move the stuff on it around till it compares the old Vegeta way of saying how bad a twister is. You know, F1, F2, F3 and such. Until it correctly compares that scale to the new one. You know, the enhanced Vegeta scale. EF1, EF2, and EF3, and the like. The scale they switched over to a couple years back. You might have to do a little reading, but you can do that for me in return for the mousetrap, right? No problem. Atta girl. That's a really good question, actually, Golden Moon. I always assumed it was just the culprit, but you make a really good point that literally all of them have been like, oh no, mice are the worst. So I don't know. I enjoy this puzzle. And I love that this is the first time we're introduced to other um, candies from the Wickford Company. Which one of these candies would you guys go for? I personally would be super into this coffee candy. I obviously want to try a good old Coco Kringle. Auntie's acorns sound delicious too. Like which ones would you go for? What's your preferred Wickford candy? Hmm. Cowamel. Cowamel fits. But. Moonchunk. Prairie dog vacuum. <laughs> Wait, how is that not going to hurt them? Right? It's still going to suction them out of the ground. It doesn't exactly sound harmless, Chase. It might be somewhat harmless, but it's definitely not all the way harmless. Cud smackers. Where will the cud smackers go? Maybe I can put them over here. And then... How big is cow bubble? Not big enough. Because I want one... Well, actually, does that work? No, Coco Kringle's too big. Cowamel is too small. That's not the right size either. 
You go with the classic cocoa. Excellent. Ooh, you want to try the moon chunk. Is it just supposed to be cheese? Because if it's just cheese, then I'd be totally down for the moon chunk too. Since when is cheese candy? That's basically what all the characters say when you try to give it to them. Because Nancy will be like, hey, want some candy? And they'll be like, sure. And then she gives them the moon chunk. And they're like, that's not candy, Nancy. <laughs> and they get all salty and it's hilarious. Uh, hmm. See, cow bubble fits. Cow -mel. The raging inferno fits. Cow bubble, moon chunk, hunty's acorns. What if cud smackers can go here? Gosh, we're s I'm so close. Like I'm just out of the reach of the right answer. Nice. I was thought the moon chunk was a type of cake. Oh. What does it say on it? Out of this world cheesy snack? Hmm. What are you, Moonchunk? <laughs> oh, so close. Okay. What if... See, the Cocoa Kringle doesn't fit there. But what if we do, like, that way? That way it fits. Coffee candy. I'm telling you, this cud smackers is really throwing a wrench in my operation here. Oh, there we go. Wait, no. I spoke too soon. I was excited too soon. <laughs> Hush. What's the connection between cows and Wickford Castle? I think just because they're both from Wisconsin and like dairy products are a real big thing in Wisconsin. Like a sponge cake coated in chocolate, but also cheesy? Ew, it is cheese. <laughs> I assumed it was that sweet cheese, and I have no idea what it's called in English. Hmm, sweet cheese. Cottage cheese? That could be. It could be cottage cheese. Is it maybe it's like a cheesecake kind of thing? Or like a brie? Brie is kind of sweet, but not really, I guess, actually, now that I think about it. Okay. Nope. <laughs> you can't get excited when you're solving a puzzle. It just, just makes it a letdown. It definitely does not fit there. If we can figure out where Cud Smackers goes, then that might help. I do not think that it goes vertically like this. Like, I'm pretty sure the Cud Smackers has to go horizontally, and it can't go there. So maybe like that. Let's let's work with that as our current um, theory that Cud Smackers goes there. And what are some other weird shaped ones? We've got the two square ones. One fits there. One fits there, and then we could maybe do like cow bubble there. The Licky Lou could then fit here. Coffee candy. Cocoa Kringle. Gosh. The Cowamel there. Hmm. If it's cheesecake, I'm down to clown. <laughs> Cheesecake's 
cheesecake would be good. Cream cheese, mascarpone, ricotta. Thanks, everyone. Naming food in foreign languages can be tricky. Oh, I bet. Maybe like that. Huh. That maybe isn't too far off. Oh, <gasps> we did it. I did it. I did it. Victory. Okay. Candy display done. Done with that Vegeta scale display? To be honest, I haven't even started it. So what you need? I finished up the candy display. Atta girl, here. Thanks. Done with that Vegeta scale display? To be honest, I haven't even started it. So what you need? Hi Demon Slayer, welcome to the stream. You're at work, but you have this in the back and we'll try to check it out. Very nice. Hope everyone has had a good week. Yes, thank you. I hope you've had a good week too, Demon Slayer. Like, okay, so where's Ma? Still not here. So we can ask... I wish that our options could change about how we approach this subject after we've read the article. Because we know that Ma has died. And that she died tragically in a tornado. And yet Nancy can still be like, So, Pa, where's Ma, you liar? <laughs> where's Ma? Still not here? <laughs> nope. She, uh, she had to drive over to Chickasha. Sisters Lumbago's acting up. Anything else I can help you with? <sighs> Good seeing you again. Don't let them canutes work you too hard. Oh, Nancy. Nancy, Nancy. Ooh, my favorite desserts. I am very into ice cream and gelato. I love chocolate. I love pie. Blueberry pie is one of my favorites. I... What else do I love? I love pretty much any kind of dessert. Like, I am a dessertaholic. I will eat dessert all the time, anytime. <laughs> what is licking polo? The licky loo, you mean? I think they're just lollipops, like just regular little suckers. Okay, so let's see. Damage obviously is going to start with like, oh no, I blew leaves off the trees and is going to end with, oh no, my house has been leveled. Um, definitely different levels of oh no's. Um, my roof has been blown off. A couple shingles and then like my motorhome is completely destroyed maybe. And then these are obviously from lowest to highest. A wind speed and a three second gust speed. Basically, I just have to figure out which one is in which column. 317. Let's just start with this one as a guess and then we'll rearrange them as need be. 260. Wait. Maybe like that because they're really close. And then, what's the next highest one? The fastest quarter mile wind speed. Maybe it's like 201 plus. Perhaps. Yes, what is everyone else's favorite desserts? How long ago did Ma die in the game? Was it a recent death? It sounded like it was like a couple years ago. I can't remember the exact date, but I think it was like a couple years ago ice cream and chocolate or chocolate ice cream oh yes made a blueberry pie recently twas delish so jealous forever insane oh i think i think blueberry pie is my favorite what's everyone's favorite pie mr wizard kitten and i um booked our caterer for our wedding and we have been talking about like dessert options, and we're seriously considering pie as an option. Because our theme is very like rustic and backyard and homey, and pie just fits that. Plus, pie is delicious, and I love pie. Where is 78? There we go. 201. 
157. 112. 72. And then 165. 35, 110. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what Pa thinks about that. Done with that Vegeta scale display? You tell me. Well, this time when I peeked, you made a mistake in the wind speed column. Sorry, no mousetrap for you, not yet. Good seeing you again. See you soon. Ooh, cherry pie is also delicious. Ah, excuse me, I have like a frog in my throat. Ooh, apple and cinnamon, yes. You're a pie hater, unfortunately can't do it. That's fair though, glazed donut. Do you enjoy cake? Or other types of delicious desserts? <laughs> Ooh, a steak and gravy pie. Gravy pie, nice. A savory pie. Favorite pie has to be a tie between cherry and apple, yum. Pecan pie, ice cream, and cookies. Yum. I don't really like cake. Have you ever thought about making any of the foods that are shown in the Nancy Drew games? Yes, I totally have. I think that would be really fun. In the wind speed column. Fastest quarter mile wind speed. I'm just going to like switch these. And we'll see if that works. We know it, we get it right when... Brooke Tavana comes in. So we're apparently still wrong. Blinis. Oh, same as crepes with apples and cinnamon. Yum, that sounds so good. If there's anything sweet in my house, I will eat it all. Same. Talking up again so soon? Are you just back because you missed me? A little of A and a little of B. Well, go ahead. What's the word out here this week? Don't keep me in suspense. It's uh, been uh, nothing special to report now, I guess. Nothing to report? Nothing at all? Are you feeling all right? Yeah, oh, sure. It's been a slow week, so. Not even any good gossip about Scott's team? Any new blunders I can take back to the guys? I know it can't be smooth sailing over there these days. I mean, come on. No, no, no. Uh, very smooth sailing with Scott's team is what I always say, but uh, just remember, I, I got a lot to do in the store. Better get to that. You just grab anything you need now. Take some candy on the way out, too. It's on me. Okay. See you around, I guess. Normally I'll gossip, but I don't want to do it now because I know Nancy is listening in. <laughs> you adore cake, especially less sweet cakes like pound cake. Nice. Well, congratulations, Nancy. From what I've seen, you got that Vegeta display set up just perfect. So go ahead and help yourself to that mousetrap. Y'all earned it. Thank you, Pa. Mr. Wizard Kitten sounds like a great guy, and you seem to be very similar. You're so lucky to have someone like him. I am very lucky to have someone like him. We definitely have our... We're both very, like stubborn people <laughs> and we agree on a lot of things but when we disagree like we have to communicate very thoroughly and he's a very direct person and I'm a very sensitive person but again it's like just learning to communicate that learning to communicate needs we've been together almost six years now and that's definitely important and that's helped us a lot I love me a nice cheesecake or a pineapple upside down cake. Yum, it's so good. Well, if it ain't my favorite customer. Who was that woman asking all of those questions about Scott? Ah, now I'm not one to talk bad about people around here, but that was Brooke. She ends up the other team of chasers. Maybe you heard of her. Is she always so interested in our team? You'd think y'all were just about the only thing worth babbling on about her, the whole state from the way she's asking questions. Really? What does she ask about? Anything and everything, but mostly she wants to know about any accidents y'all been having lately. She was really nosy. Not nosy, just... Alright, nosy. But she and Scott are just so much alike. Guess it makes sense they'd always be checking up on each other. Scott comes in here asking about her? Oh, without a doubt. Have a good day. 
Y'all hurry back. Tried to make Turkish Delight a scene in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. It was disastrous. I think Turkish Delight is one of those things that looks much better than it probably actually tastes. But I could be wrong with that. Maybe, like, professionals can make it really well. Like, stores that actually sell it. Okay, we gotta give the hose to Chase, or do we already have it? Oh, no, you do have to give him the hose. Oh, and I forgot to get his cheese. Hey there. I went to pause and got a bigger tube for that prairie dog vacuum. This okay? Well, let's find out. There you go. One handy dandy prairie dog vacuum. How does it work? We just turn it on, stick the tube in the hole, and all the critters in the burrows going to that hole be sucked into the bag. That sounds a little rough. Are you sure they're going to be okay? Of course they will. Built this baby here with safety in mind. That's why it's so ugly. Now don't forget, if there ain't any critters in the burrows going to that hole, you'll lose suction in some of the ones that you've caught will escape. You gotta make sure you catch all of them before you move them. Okay. Just keep at it and you'll do fine. There's some paw panties in if you remember to bring this back when you're done. Don't want it falling into the wrong hands. Prairie Dog's life is rough enough as it is. Prairie Dog's life is rough as it is. Oh, take it. Anything else on your mind? I'd better get going. Adios. Adios. Nancy shouldn't say anything about people being nosy when she is the queen of nosiness. Speaking of queens, how is Queen Mel? She is, oh, currently bunning on the couch. She is in peak loaf form. Such a loaf that I can't see her front arms. That's when you know you're in a good loaf position is when you can't even see the paws. Okay, this puzzle is a pain in the butt. It's like, here, lose suction. <laughs> here, prairie doggy. <laughs> Don't worry. It has to be multiple holes, it looks like. Like, you can't just get them from one. Oh, oh last one. Oh, missed him. I totally thought I had him there. There we go. Come on. Yeah. Where are you, prairie dogs? Did we get them all? I think we got them all. Okay, now we transport them to the other side of the barn. I don't know why they wouldn't exterminate them here, and they would. Well, I guess because they're by the corn, maybe. Looks like the perfect new home for the prairie dogs. I'd better empty out the vacuum here. Be free! There you go, little guys. Good luck in your new home. Be free, my friends. What's that flash? I should go check it out. It kind of looks like the money box I found at the farmhouse. Ooh, suspicious. Terms are agreed. Series of CB with CC or CG from an HP storm by June 2nd. Upon delivery payment will be rendered in the amount of $550. Okay. And it's in the exact same handwriting, so I'm starting to think that that first box wasn't a mistake. We need to go get some cheese. So we can start catching mice. Oh wait, we don't have enough paw pennies. We only have 51. So we need to make a bunch from Chase. They look more like chipmunks than prairie dogs. Yeah, they do kind of look like chipmunks. Do, 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 do. 
three, four, five. The corner ones are always, are almost always good to start with because they have limited options. That looks good. One, two, three, two, three. Three, four, two, three, four. Okay, so far so good. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I can't believe that some people are able to do this puzzle so many times that they get enough paw pennies to be able to purchase the Easter egg box. Have any of you managed to do that? Because if you have, I bow down to you <laughs> and your <laughs> commitment. I could never do this enough times to get that. Like it just, it wouldn't be possible for me. Four, five, I do not have that, that level of commitment to this game and to that Easter egg. I have also never gotten a game where I've gotten every single award at the end. Have any of you done that? I've never managed to do it. I think I've gotten like two left at some points, but never like all of them. That is also some pretty impressive commitment. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, four. Power on? Okay, let's call that good. To collect my paw pennies. Oh, nice job, Nancy. Go take what you've earned. I know there's a cheat to gain a ton of paw pennies from the game in this store. You have to go to the hardest level in the color block game and click the bottom right corner and then leave. That's how you got the fancy box? No way. I wonder if we should try that. There's a glitch to get lots of paw pennies. I think it'd give you like a hundred pennies. Whee! So if we go to the land rush, you have to go to the hardest level in, col in the color block. Is that what this is? Level four. Oh no, I can't. <laughs> well, this is another way to get paw pennies though, right? Except I'm not very good at this game, apparently. So you have to make it to level four and then get Okay, let me see. Starting with this one. And then I'm going green. And then gray. That was a good one. And then pink. And then purple. And then green. Score! Nancy Drew wins again. Okay, so we made it to level two. 
Go to level four, click a square, then back out before your opponent makes their move. It should give you 250 each time. That could be your next challenge. Get all the awards. That could be. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's do... Why can't I do some of them? Can I only do one on the edge? Weird. Okay. I guess... Let's start with... I don't know which one to start with. I guess this one. I think the key to this game is definitely like choosing the best starting option. Because if you can do that, then you're pretty much good to go. Hmm, red or pink? Pink. And then maybe green. And then gray. And then maybe red. And that's the West was one. Okay, we made it to level two. Now level three. Whoa. Okay. So I guess you do have to start from the edge. Hmm. I mean, this is a pretty good starting one. Might be my best bet. Although this one... I'm going to go with this one. Because then I can get all these reds. And then all these oranges. And then all these greens. Orange. Hmm. Purple. Oh, I wanted that green! Let's see here. I guess the red? And then maybe the orange. The green was supposed to be mine! I'm definitely struggling on this one. Yeah, didn't win that one. All right. In the long run, I think this will save us time, because we need to buy cheese like five times. We need like 500 pop pennies <laughs> to get cheese. Okay, so if that wasn't a great starting one. Is this level? I totally wanted to do level three. Was that level three? That didn't look like level three. Oh, I guess it was. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to start with this one. Oh, uh-oh. He's off to a really good start. I don't think I'm coming back from that one. Hello, Scanlan. Welcome to the stream. Trail of your twister... Trail of the Twister was more compli complicated game I ever played in the Nancy Drew series because of the filing puzzle and maybe the couple of mini games, if not more so. I totally know what you mean. 
it is very puzzle heavy and it can be very difficult there's definitely several puzzles in this one that I get frequently stuck with I feel like the strategy of the game starting close to me was not a great idea for them. Like, I feel like that maybe wasn't a smart move. Or maybe I'm just hoping it wasn't a smart move. Do you know the glitch for Land Rush Pennies? Hi, Sylvia Puppy Sticker. I think Demon Slayer told it to me. I only did it the once to say that I did it. I'm attempting to see if I can get to level four to try the glitch. Is that the one that you know about too, Sylvia? I hate that stupid mouse trapping puzzle. I didn't like doing it for the first time and you have to do it like five times. Exactly. It's a classic example of a puzzle would be fine in the Nancy Drew series if I didn't have to do it multiple times. It's a classic fox and geese problem. Orange? Yes! I win! Okay, so we made it to level 4. So I go to level 4 Click a square, then back out before your opponent makes their move. It should give you 250 each time. Okay. So let's try this. Go to level 4. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, you're great! Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Okay, I love this. This makes me so happy. Hee <laughs> hee! Victory is ours. <laughs> That's so awesome. Thank you for teaching me that trick, Demon Slayer. And Sylvia, puppy sticker. It sounds like you were going to teach it to me, too. That's so helpful. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so now we can buy a bunch of Moonchunk. Two, three, four, five. Should we buy any other candies? No. I'm going to save my money. But... The how much is this box? Ninety nine ninety. Okay, so we'd have to do that glitch a ton of times to get the box, but that's pretty cool. That is seriously the best glitch ever. I absolutely agree with that. Oh no! Sorry, semi. Oh 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 oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Move. Go faster, minivan. <laughs> get the box. Okay, next time we go back, we'll get the box. It is still such a pain, though, to do that over and over and over again. Yeah, exactly. And I do know that um, if we can get Chase to leave here, we can eventually get a pretty good chunk of pennies from him. Okay. Now one needs to be careful to actually do this correctly. Because I've definitely accidentally eaten the cheese before, and it's the most frustrating thing ever. I'd better make sure to fail all of the traps. That bug is so strange. How does that happen? How many of those things are there? I feel like it probably has to be programmed in, right? Like they probably put it in there on purpose. I would imagine. Starts out relatively easy, progressively takes longer and longer. <laughs> it doesn't really get harder, it just gets longer. Okay, mice. Bump into yourselves to the end. It doesn't help that the semi-trucks turn awkwardly when you're driving. Exactly, it's the semi-truck's fault. It's definitely not my fault. <laughs> 
how many pot pennies do you need for the mystery box? 9,990. The way the mice move is very calming, right? That's They're so in it. sync with one another. I got them. Well, finally. Now take them outside and dump them. The spring house out on Old Orchard Road. That should be far enough away. Let them go there. You got it. This is the strangest mouse trap I've ever seen. No kidding, Ray Marie. Okay, so now we're supposed to go to the old mill, whatchamacallit. Enter a new route. The spring house? We're supposed to go to the spring house, right? Okay, so if we go up, over three streets, and then over another two streets. Okay. Excuse me! Oh no! Oh no, I'm stuck. There we go. When my sister and I were playing this, we didn't realize you could put the walls up between the mouse spaces, which makes it so easy, but still annoyingly slow. Yeah, absolutely. Be free! That's so many mice. It's hilarious. Okay, cool. Can we take a cloud picture for Frosty of these clouds up here? And probably not get credit for them? <laughs> can you ever drive the pink pickup truck? I think so. I think you can. I just, for some reason, always go with the blue one. Okay. Let's move! This storm is about to go critical! We need to get out in the field now. You're riding point with Frosty. Scott and I will be tracking the storm. Let's go! Whoa, apparently we're, um... This isn't the right car. I don't think this is the right one. Apparently there's a storm <laughs> that we didn't know about. Bye! <laughs> we're gonna get a twister! Okay. I think we have to go over to the left, don't we? Like, isn't it over here? We oh yep here we go. Oh check that out. No, no 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 shoot! Video camera just died here. Fix it. I've got to keep shooting stills. Oh boy, this puzzle always takes a long time too. Uh, one two three four five six seven eight. I'm gonna use my notes for this one. Mm-hmm. It's gonna take me a while to look at my notes. Here we go. Okay. One, two, let's see. Just cause this generally can take kind of a long time. Ten. Eleven. Frosty also gets super sassy during this puzzle. Hurry up! <laughs> like, you do it then, Frosty. Hmm. 28. This is where I typically get uh, tripped up is this corner for some reason this music is so intense do do Dun, 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 dun. 
<laughs> so intense. I fixed it. Here you go, Frosty. Just in time, thanks. Uh oh, we got some trouble. The funnel is headed right Whoa. for that building. Whoa! Whoa! Look at that! Knock that barn flat! I hope it was as abandoned as it looked. Oh no! It didn't record a thing. I thought you said you fixed it. I did fix it. Let's head back to the homestead. So, still think tornadoes are cool? You bet I do. I think what they are is cool, but after today, I'm sure not a fan of what they do. That's something that researchers, myself included, all too often forget. As exciting as it is to chase tornadoes, they are hugely destructive, and the damage they do to lives and livelihoods is all too often horrible and irreparable. <sighs> what a disheartening day. An EF3, and we failed to get so much as one inch of footage on it. Thanks to you. What do you mean, thanks to me? Frosty says you failed to fix his video camera in time to record anything. But... but that's not true. I fixed it in plenty of time. Look, I don't want to hear excuses. Just go. Call it a day and make sure it doesn't happen again, okay? Okay. Oh, that would make me so mad. I don't know if it's been said before, but this game has the worst driving, and I either die or get lost every time I try to get anywhere. It is very confusing. Have we heard Frosty scream because of the mice yet? I don't turn in, Nancy. I don't think we have. Maybe he does it the next day. I love candy. Me too, Detective Drew. Where is Frosty? You're not even here, so I can yell at you. How rude. People need to be in their correct places when I want to yell at them. <laughs> Basically move diagonally, exactly. This is a really good soundtrack, Grace, I agree. Don't they blame Nancy a lot because of what happens during these storm chases where she has to fix something? I mean, hello, she's only been on the job for a few days. Right? And it's not her fault that stuff is broken. This is so hard. Anyone watch Bed Knobs and Broomsticks? I have not. They're so mean to Nancy. She's just an intern. Give her some slack. Exactly. What's up? What do you want to do now that you've finished your degree? Actually, I... I'm not sure yet. I, I'm still kind of weighing my options. I'll check back with you in a bit. Have fun! I mean, that offer looked spectacular, Debbie. If I were you... Hi, Debbie. How's it going? Morning, Nancy. Looks like it's shaping up to be another big day for all of us. First things first, we've got huge communications problems right now. I had Chase fix up the GPS units and add the comm antenna location. I need you to take a trip over to see what the problem is. After that, I know Chase asked if you could drop by and talk to him, okay? I'll check back with you in a bit. Have fun! Okay, check the antennas and talk to Chase. Got it. What's going on? Why don't you get a cat for your mice problem? Cats? Forget about it. I'm definitely allergic to cats. Mice are annoying, but at least they don't leave me sneezing and short of breath. Pa tells me that you've been asking him about Brooke. Is that true? Been huh? No. That's not true. That's what he said. You know, maybe you should spend less time talking to Pa and more time doing your job here, Nancy. Rich uncle or no, you have work to do. So do it. Rude. Guess I'll get going. Don't hurry back. Gosh, so mean. Nancy should have stood her ground and put Frosty on blast. I so agree with that, Luna. What language are these games programmed in? I do not know Forever Insane. Does anyone know what language these games are programmed in? The worst driving is in Ransom, in my opinion. I hate how the golf cart gets so slow in Ransom. Look at the TV. I think they show the footage. Oh, cool. Okay, where are we going? We're going to the antennas. Antenna. Which is down. Basically go south. Okay. Whee! Hi, cows. Oops, crash. There's the antennas. 
Why is there a car parked there? The sure did a number on these things. There's pieces of them everywhere. How suspicious. Offer them cheese for fun. I do enjoy offering them cheese. And now we actually have enough money that I could do that. Is this the same layout as in White Wolf in the basement? It could be. It is pretty similar, Golden Moon. The golf cart driving is rough. To be honest, there's no game that I actually like driving in. I agree with that fully. Like, I just am not a fan of third person in general. And driving is one of the biggest ways that third person is used in the games. Is it just me or is Debbie's laptop super big? It does look super big. Absolutely. Oh, thank you, Detective Drew. I'm so glad you enjoy the videos. I have so much fun making them for you guys. Let's see. Triangles. Like. Here? Yeah, where do you go? Feel like it goes. Yeah, there we go. And that goes there. Okay. And this T. This curly part. This oval part. Um. What about this? There we go. Do 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 That's not where that goes, Nancy. There you go. There. Now they should work. What's that? Somebody on Scott's team probably dropped this. Superior lock and key. Dun dun dun. <laughs> the weather's getting bad fast, Nancy. Very fast. Almost unnaturally fast. I need to get out of here. Turn ahead, 999 leagues. That's not the right way back to the farm. And then the What's GPS. on here? Somebody must have programmed this thing to give faulty directions. Turn left now. GPS tries to kill us. Oh, look out for the clouds, Nancy. Basically, I have to go, like, all the way around. Turn ahead, 999 leagues. Up here. There we go. Oh, and it's like perfect weather here. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> They're so close to each other. Nancy, now this is what you call perfect timing. I was just getting ready to put the transmission of this car back together. But seeing as you're here and seeing as Debbie said I should feel free to give any job I don't have time for to you, that's just what I think I'll do. Sounds like fun. All it's you gotta not. do is put the gears I just cleaned back on three horizontal rods. There's a notch for each gear, so just figure out which size gear goes to which notch. Of course, you gotta make sure when the gears line up vertically, they touch but don't overlap each other. It's not hard, just takes a little time and a little bit of trial and error. No problem. You lied, Chase, because it is hard, and it takes a lot of trial and error. <laughs> this is one of my least favorite puzzles of all time, um, which is why I'm gonna use my notes to solve it. Because otherwise, not kidding, we could be here for like an hour while I try to solve this puzzle. I am not exaggerating. It has taken me at least an hour at times. So, oops. I'm just going to go ahead and assume that people probably don't want to watch me try and solve this puzzle for an hour. Okay. Oh, that puzzle. Exactly, Golden Moon. Oh, this puzzle took us hours and we ended up having to work it out on paper. Yes, Grace. It's so hard. Chase is all like, it's so easy. You'll have you'll get the hang of it in no time. It's like, no, no, Chase. 
The weather's getting bad and Nancy stands there for like 20 seconds. Also, the weather's bad and the cows don't even move. The cows are, are rocks. They are solid beasts who shall not be moved. Ha, <laughs> moved. Get it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yes! I did it! I got all the gears back on the rods. Fine job, Nancy. Now come on over here. Something else I need you to do. I need for you to run this here estimate over to Scott. It's for the body work that needs to be done on Pete's car. Scott's supposed to look it over and sign it before I give the repair shop the go-ahead. Well, I'll take it to him. Appreciate it. Why can't you take it to him? Anything else on your mind? He's like five steps away. I'm all done with the prairie dog vacuum. Here you go. All righty then. Anything else on your mind? Did you fix the GPS devices? Sure did. I think maybe they could use some more work. Mine went berserk and tried to lead me directly into the path of a storm. It did what now? It tried to lead me right into the storm. I'm real sorry, Nancy. All I did was run a few updates and... I'm very sorry it went haywire on you. I'll make sure it never happens again. Can I interest you in some candy? Of course. You're okay in my book, Miss Drew. Cheese? No thanks. I don't really trust cheese. You don't trust cheese? I'll let you go. Alrighty then. <laughs> Did you and cheese have a bad run-in in your past? Do you have a dark past with cheese? Oh, Chase. I hate it because it seems so obvious if you look in a walkthrough, but for some reason it's so hard. Exactly! Like, I don't understand. I don't understand why it's so hard. Is this really how a transmission works? I don't know much about cars. I know nothing about cars. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's probably not how a transmission works. But I fixed it. I hope it was as abandoned as it looked. I did fix it. Lies. I mean, would you talk to Scott if you had a choice? Good point, Golden Moon. Probably not. Probably not. What's going on? Oh, Chase asked me to give you this estimate from the auto repair shop. Oh yeah, he warned me this was coming. I'll take care of it, thanks. Pretty scary how much damage a bunch of frozen raindrops can do to a car. Of course, they've been frozen to the size of golf balls thanks to several miles worth of updraft. <laughs> <laughs> was that Frosty? Yes, that was Frosty. Look, go down there and whatever his problem is, take care of it, okay? I don't have time for any histrionics. <laughs> histrionics. <laughs> Nancy, come over here. Look, try not to get upset, but I just discovered we have a really big problem down here. Mice. One just scampered right across my keyboard. My keyboard, Nancy! That's way over the line! You're afraid of mice? What? Who? Me? What? Afraid? No. I mean, so what if they crawl all over everything and come darting out of the shadows when you least expect it and have those tiny pink feet and those skinny little tails? Okay, yes, mice totally creep me out, all right? The point is, I can't get anything done with them scampering their brains out down here, and somebody like you needs to get rid of them. Please? I'd be happy to. Bless you. Okay. Well, what are you waiting for? Go for it. All right, now I'll get rid of the mice for Frosty. So Scott doesn't have to deal with his histrionics. Okay, that's important for us to see. We'll need that much later. Was there a green spot on Chase's hat? Is it a logo or something, maybe? Chase looks exactly like the main character from the game Bully, if anyone played it. Oh, that's cool. Why don't you trust Cheese, Chase? He must be lactose intolerant. That could be. That would make sense. I think the TV shows a news report. Ooh, we should check. Oh, yeah, you're right. I think that happens when we fix the TV, Juan Pena. A 
Rusty screaming. His scream is so good. I love the really exaggerated one. Oops. Sorry, mice. Go this way. Okay, so we'll keep them all there. Scott reminds me of RDJ in terms of his looks. Oh, I totally know what you mean, Golden Moon. I absolutely see that. He does look a lot like Robert Downey Jr. Oops, I should have blocked that mouse over here. Oops, not like that, though. <laughs> there we go, like that. And then this. There we go. And then you go this way. No, backwards. Go the other way. Alright, and then you stop there. And then we just have to get these ones. Okay, things going well. Last weekend I was in the house and I heard screaming. Turns out my mom was in the shed and a mouse had made a nest out of an old burlap bag, which she uncovered while cleaning. It was quite the scream. That is fantastic. That's super funny. To be fair, I probably would scream too. Just out of the shock of it. Like, I genuinely don't mind mice, but if they surprised me in my shed or my house, I'd be like, eek. It almost looks like the mice are dancing. It does. That's all of them. Don't worry, fellas. You're going to like your new home. It's the Nutcracker. See, this web makes me a lot more concerned than the mouse does. <laughs> Okay, we'll go get rid of these mice for Frosty. Which is over here, like three. One, two. Oops. Didn't pay attention to my directions. Is it down here? No, that's a different place. Is it up? Maybe it's up. There we go. Does Mel like mice? She, we lived in an apartment for two years and we did have a mouse problem in there initially and then the mice went away. So I'm assuming that Mel's presence like scared them. But thankfully we haven't gotten to find out um, <laughs> how well she would chase mice because I've never seen her have to do it. I think she would though. She loves to play. She's a very active cat, so I think she would totally enjoy mice. She frequently hunts leaves that fall on the floor. Um, obviously, the leaves don't put up much of a fight, but Mel goes to town on them anyway. <laughs> so I think she would. And she tries to go after bugs, too. With a dedication that makes me very proud as a cat mom. Nancy takes care of the mice, but doesn't pick up any of the piles of corn. That's just asking for more mice to move into the farmhouse. Very good point, Ray Marie. Like, maybe you should fix that, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Frosty's got quite the unusual scream, doesn't he? Does he do that a lot? Oh, yeah. He thinks he's so smooth. First time I heard him do that, I thought my little sister was downstairs. Thanks to that faulty GPS, I wound up in the middle of a violent thunderstorm on my way back from fixing the antenna. I know it sounds paranoid, but I think someone tampered with it. You sure you were operating it correctly? Positive. I'll have Chase take a look at it. What else is going on? I have got some extra candy. Would you like a piece? You know what? I really would. Thanks, Nancy. Oh, I see what you did right there. Not cool, Nancy. Not cool. <laughs> I better get to work. Have fun. Ha ha. No candy for you. Can we go yell at Frosty now for being the worst and getting us in trouble with Scott? What's up? 
How come Scott told me you didn't get any footage on that tornado we saw? Because I didn't, I told you. That camera you said you'd fixed was still broken. But I did fix it, I'm sure of it. Nope, still broken. You can see for yourself if you want. I left it upstairs. In all the excitement, I, I didn't double check your work until it was too late. So, I guess it's partially my fault. I told Scott to go easy on you, and since you're still standing, <laughs> guess he did. Look, we just had some bad luck. Means odds are next time, we'll have good luck. Stuff happens, forget about it. I have got some extra candy, would you like a piece? Please. What's this now, cheese? Yes, it's cheese. Thanks for all the advice. Pop in any time. Right, right, Marie? Like, I would totally take cheese. I'd be like, sure. Cheese is a great snack. It's not candy, but it's a great snack. Your parents' old cat was the neighborhood stray, and he used to leave your mom presents on the front porch most mornings. Oh my gosh, Demon Slayer, that's so funny. What's going on? Would you like some candy? I guess. Wait, did you ask if I wanted candy or if I wanted cheese? I'm a little confused. <laughs> Guess I'll get going. Ta-ta. He's so mean. Okay, <laughs> Debbie still isn't um, telling us to go to bed yet. Hey there. I'll check back with you later. I'll ride it in. Once had a mouse in your apartment. It was on the fifth floor. Ugh. Oof. Not fun, Golden Moon. What is so wrong with cheese? Hi, Carly. Welcome to the stream. I'm late because I had to work, but I'm glad to be here now. Totally understandable, Carly. So glad you could join. That was a close one. Whoa! Oh, what can I do for you, little lady? Have Scott and his team always been so accident prone? I'd say they've always been reality prone. If you're the type to chase down tornadoes, the reality of the situation is that you're pretty much giving trouble your home address. But from what I've been hearing, this year has been especially bad. I've enjoyed talking to you. See you soon. Well, now. Huh. What do we need to do? I know our days got slightly messed up because Scott told us that he thought we did a good job driving during the chase. So, if Debbie doesn't say anything, I think I'm still just going to go to bed? Because we can't fix the TV yet. Previously on Are You a Detective? Andrew Are you a detective? Um... Yeah... Let's just go to bed. I think our days are slightly mixed up. I can't hit the sack just yet. But why? Why, Nancy? What else do you need to do? One of the things I want you to do today is trap the mice I keep seeing by the table and get them out of here. They're starting to get pretty annoying. That's what we need to do. I'll check back with you in a bit. Have fun! Okay. So we just needed to wait for everyone to ask us to get rid of their mice. Let's do it again! <laughs> Hooray! Oh, it's so cute. So what's new? <laughs> Anyone? Got any news? Anyone doing anything fun over the long weekend? We're gonna be here for a while, so you know. Just thought I'd ask. There are so many mice. Random thought. Does anyone like the TV show uh, Avatar The Last Airbender? Because all of the seasons are on Netflix now, and I am 
very excited to start binge watching it that is one of the best shows ever and i cannot wait oops go up that way mouse you are not supposed to go up that way you are supposed to go down there <laughs> well i guess you can go that way just wasn't the direction i had intended for you but that's okay Oops, oops, oops. Today was your last official day of high school? Oh my gosh, Grace! Congratulations, that's insane! That is definitely big news. Wow, that's so wonderful. Congratulations. And of course, I haven't been at school for two months. Yeah. Is your school doing a modified um, graduation or anything? I know it's been especially hard for seniors. I coach a couple seniors um, on our competitive public speaking team. And like it's just really disappointing because they didn't get to do their section tournament or their state tournament. So I know a lot of people are kind of getting cheated out of their senior year of sports and senior year of other activities. That's got to be really frustrating. So I'm curious how it's been for you. OMG, that show is great. Right, Demon Slayer? Oh, it's the best. Friendly mushroom friend. <laughs> it's just so good. What made you want to be a teacher? Did you always want to be one? E I changed my major four times in college. I started off um, convinced that I wanted to be an architect because I loved building in The Sims so much and I loved design and I thought it was super cool. So I got into architecture school and I went to school in Rhode Island for a semester and I found out like almost immediately that architecture and the day-to-day -day business of architecture was not actually what I wanted to do. Don't worry, fellas. You're going to like your new home. So, I changed my major from architecture to uh, environmental science. Time to call it a day, Nancy. Hit the sack and I'll see you first thing in the morning. Because um, I was also super into um, environmental awareness and science and stuff like that. So, I figured that would work. And then I did that for a couple semesters and found out that that was not what I wanted to do either. And then I changed my major to communications because I've always enjoyed acting and public speaking. But that didn't have a clear enough direction for me. And then I ended up being um, speech language pathology. So it was uh, definitely not something that I knew I wanted to do. I did know that I wanted something that would allow me to enjoy like liberal arts and science kind of at the same time. And I've always loved kids. Like I did babysitting all the time. I nannied for several families. Um, and working with kids has always been something I really enjoyed. But it was definitely like a process. So if anyone's in school right now and isn't sure what they want to do or is heading to school, like don't feel bad at all about changing your plans. You do you. Like some people manage to figure it out on the first try, but very few do, honestly. Yes, that show is amazing. It's so good. Never seen Avatar The Last Airbender. It looked a little too much like anime, which is something I'm not really into. See, I'm not really into anime either, Ray Marie. I've never just gotten into it for whatever reason, but this, the style is, looks like anime, but it's the, the story seriously hooks me. It's so good. And like the different bending styles is kind of reminiscent of Harry Potter. Like just thinking about what style of bender I could be or something. I love that. It's just so good. Highly recommend it. It'll quench ya. <laughs> so good. Sokka's amazing. He definitely has some of the best lines. Your town is really small, so you're doing a parade on our normal graduation day and then having as normal a graduation as possible at the end of July. Well, that's good at least. So just kind of like a distanced ceremony. It's nice that you can have that. That's good. Your little brother is so lucky that he graduated high school last year. He's now in the Marines. Yeah, that is good timing for sure. <laughs> I've taken an architecture class. It is quite the degree. It's a lot harder than just making a bunch of boxes. Yeah, I didn't, I really liked the design part of it and I didn't realize like how artsy one had to be to really succeed in architecture school. Like I was doing fine in it. I was like, I could, could have done it, but I didn't enjoy doing it. It was a lot more 
Yeah, a lot more of that than I expected. I'll stick to building in The Sims. <laughs> that doesn't sound very fair. People change a lot, especially in your university years. I wish we could switch majors. We can't where I live. You just choose one major when you're like 15 and you're stuck for four years. Oh my gosh, Golden Moon. Yeah, that's really hard. I changed my major to my current degree my junior year. And in order to graduate in four years, I had to take a lot of classes right away. But it was still nice to be able to have the option. That would be really hard. Graduated from college almost three years ago with a BA, and I still don't know what I want to do. Mm-hmm. No one should feel bad about not knowing what they want to do as seniors in high school. Absolutely. Morning, Debbie. What's up? If I seem a little frantic, it's because there's a front moving in capable of producing a supercell. Maybe even lots of supercells. So we're moving out ASAP. Everyone's already outside. You'll ride with Chase in the... <laughs> Holy cow, that was the jack for Scott's phone. Forget what I was saying. You're going to have to stay here and fix Scott's phone connection. Scott will freak if he comes back and his phone doesn't work. Soon as I finish entering these data, I am out of here. Go on, go fix that phone! Go! But how do I fix a phone? I've never done anything like that. It probably just needs to be rewired. I've seen you work. I know you can figure this out for us. All right, I'll do my best. I'm doing a two-year certificate in web development and design. That's so cool, because I didn't want to get locked into a GREE. That's very understandable, Sylvia puppy sticker. Yeah, what do people do? Like, what are your... Right, Debbie, let's get going. On my way. What do y'all do? <laughs> okay, let's see here. Oh, that looks like the wrong way, Nancy. Not, not right, Nancy. Nope, okay, reset. How about... It's these little squares that you have to get in the right place for. Hmm. Oh no, I was doing so well. And then I mucked it up. Well, maybe not. Maybe maybe I didn't muck it up. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. That should do it. There, all fixed. I felt that. I graduated with my animal science degree. Oh, that's a cool degree. Two years ago, and I tried to get into vet school. And now that I've been denied twice, I'm clueless. But for not being a vet assistant is fun. My very best friend is a vet tech. Carly Bader. It's so hard figuring out what we want to do. Ugh. There's just so many options. What's that sound? As long as you're making sure that everything looks right, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, I know what I'm doing here. That's Scott. This headset must have some kind of wireless connection to his cell phone. Wonder who he's talking to. Congratulations! Any chance you can keep your act together so that the rest of the world doesn't also know what you're up to? No one suspects a thing, Brooke. Brooke? That's the name of the leader of that rival chase team. Let's try to keep it that way. You worry about keeping up your part of the deal. I've got everything and everyone under control out here. Looks like I need a key. I have a key. That's one thing I'm not a huge fan of about this game, is that we basically find out the answers to everything, like, at least a solid half hour before the ending of the game. Dear Professor Varnell, the College Tenure Committee has completed their review of your case and forwarded their findings. It is my regret to inform you that you will not be awarded tenure or promoted to rank a full professor this year. Ooh. The committee believed that your application did not be the college standards. These standards, as outlined, clearly state the requisites for tenure. While your teaching and knowledge of your field were considered adequate, serious concerns were raised about your publication's record in regards to quality, frequency, and practical application. I must support the recommendation of the committee. Ouch. 
That's not good. I bet Scott's not too happy about that. These are important for us. <clears throat> I started with a design BA, then changed it to a joint major with communications, and now I'm doing a minor in publishing because I recently developed an interest with that. Well, that's cool. I'm a fifth year, but since my degree is so big, I still have another year or two. I'm also doing internships, which is extending it, but I'm really happy with how it's turning out. That sounds really cool, Demon Slayer. That sounds awesome. I first started college as an early ed major, and I quickly changed my mind after taking one literature course. I was hooked. That's awesome, Casey England. Now I'm about to graduate with two degrees in English Lit and Secondary Ed, English, and also with an ASL minor. Oh, I love ASL. But I intend on pursuing grad school and a career with your English degree, not your ed degree. Very cool. Glazed Donut, you just graduated with a degree in kinetic imaging. Oh, animation, video art, and sound design. But I'm mostly a 3D modeler these days. So cool. Lindsay Henry, I do HR consulting and bookkeeping. I got my degree in bachelor's egg business. Nice. I'm about to scale back my consulting to be at home more and start a family with my husband soon. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, you guys do so many cool things. I love that. Okay, we fixed his phone. We listened in on his conversation. We know that he's doing sketchy stuff with Brooke. We've found this thing. And I think we can basically use this now to like... I definitely have this written down in my detective notebook so we don't have to decode any of that. Because now we basically... This looks like Dwayne Powers' little booklet thingy, little desk organizer thing. Oh, I have to go look at the pictures. That's right. On the computer down here. Those are all my pictures. Shaw, that was the abbreviation for um, Secret of Shadow Ranch. Notice them, Nancy. <laughs> Notice them. Maybe we need to go talk to Chase or something. Could get pop pennies from out of Chase. I thought about getting a professional organizer certificate. But I'd have to make my own business, which I don't want. Or move somewhere far away to work for someone else, which I can't afford. That would be a really cool job. Is that where you would like help people organize their homes and uh, like office spaces and stuff like that? Because I would totally like do that. Stepped in that oil puddle I saw by the sprinklers, or are there other puddles of oil around here? Ooh, Poppenny's galore! I think there are other puddles of oil, Nancy. I think Chase is being suspect. I have to get started once school is done on my like spring slash summer cleaning and deep cleaning my house and it's going to be a process. <laughs> There's some kind of residue on the blade. Hmm, smells like coolant. Smells like Scott being a suspect. Ultra suspicious much, Scott? I think we can... I think that's what we needed to find. Hello? Nancy! Good. Glad I got you. You alright now? Everybody get through that storm? Yeah, we're all fine. Great! I was hoping so, but after something that big, thought I'd better check. 
Well, I got you on the phone. Something's come up, and I can really use you down at the store. Please, hurry. Okay, I'll be right there. Please, hurry. I'll hurry, Pa. Yeehaw! <laughs> We're getting close to figuring things out. You're here! And you brought the mousetrap! Good! Because I haven't seen a lot of mice lately, especially by that homestead of display in the museum. Must have a nest right beside it. I want you to catch them for me and get them out of here before the health department hears about it. They give me a hard enough time already for selling all them Cocoa Kringle products. I can do that for you, sure. That's a spit here. Here's one of them moon chunks to use as bait. Ooh, I'll need that. Thanks. So you just go on over there and have at it. Okay, over here? Or over which display did he say? Is it the Dust Bowl one? It wasn't the Trail of Tears display. I think it was the Divining Rod display, wasn't it? I'm confused, Pa. Is it over here? Where is your mouse problem? I don't have time for this nonsense, Pa. <laughs> yes, exactly. I love organizing, but it doesn't seem like it would work, especially since people aren't really willing to let strangers into their homes at this time. Yeah, I know what you mean. That does... I've definitely, like, watched people on YouTube that do that, and, like, I know Marie Kondo and stuff like that. And that just, I love organizing too. Organizing is so therapeutic. Oh, there we go. Again? <laughs> yes, Golden Moon. Most time yet again. And it just like, it completely halts any progress that the story had at this point, which is frustrating. Breaks the momentum. Come on, little Macy's. Oh, there's just so many of them. <laughs> Again, these puzzles aren't necessarily hard, but they're very time-consuming. I'm going to keep you down there. And there's corn! Who puts the corn? Maybe it's Pa. <laughs> Because it's happening here, too. So clearly it's, like, not just at the Canute farmhouse. It's also here. My going theory is that it's Pa. <laughs> I have no idea why. I have no idea how. But Pa did it. I read about it, and I thought I finally found something for a career. That's so cool, Ray Marie. And I mean, things will calm down with this eventually, so people will be wanting, like, people into their houses again. I really hope that works out for you, because that does sound like a super cool career. This game has become Nancy Drew Trail of the Mice. Yes, indeed. That is a good name for it. See if I can maybe get the bottom half done. That might help. And then we can funnel them up here. 
Was there any scare factor in this game the first time you played it? I don't think so. I know there's supposed to be a lot of like, oh my gosh, it's a tornado. But even then, I never like felt... I think it's hard to do that well in a game. Like, I never felt scared of the tornado at all. I was never like, oh no, I'm also feeling the adrenaline of the tornado because I know it's just through a screen. So no, there unfortunately wasn't a whole lot of scare factor for me in this one. And there wasn't really a lot of intensity either. Because I, I don't need necessarily like a jump scare kind of moment. And I don't know what you guys think either. Like, what do you think about jump scares, scare factor, intensity? I don't need jump scares or scare factor, but I think I do need intensity in a mystery game. Otherwise, it just feels like any other old day. Like, I, wanna, I want an intense mystery to solve. I want something, like, cool and scary... Not, again, not even scary necessarily, but like, intense is the best word I can think of. Okay. Oops. The little noises they make are really cute. I'm just very focused on trying to get them to go to the right places. <laughs> Plus, I don't know what to say. I mean, here we go, mice. Continue on your journey <laughs> into the depths of this trap. I am your tour guide, Wizard Kitten. Please proceed in an orderly manner to multiple different corners of this trap. It's the need to feel in danger. Yeah, not necessarily scary, but that something is at risk. Yeah, exactly. There has to be a purpose. There has to be a reason that we need to solve this mystery motivation we will definitely get some scare factor in the next game yeah we will shout out the water's edge is so spooky so scary that mirror scene oh my gosh insane they should have had the real you. sirens thank you kindly now get them out of here before any tourists see them they should have that would have been cool I don't love jump scares, but I like creepy suspense. Yeah. That's why I like Ghost of Thornton Hall more than Shadow at the Water's Edge. Ghost is scary the whole time, but Shadow relies on jump scares. Yeah, I totally know what you mean. Like the... Thanks for catching that mice, Nancy. You're welcome, Pa. The... You never know when you're going to get a scare factor moment in... Um, Ghost of Thornton Hall. Like, it's just like a constant feeling of foreboding and suspense and terror. Oops, excuse me. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Don't mind me. Important business. <laughs> that wasn't there before. That's the divining rod that's missing from the museum. I wonder if someone was trying to hide it. And stepped in that pool of oil over there in the process. Chase. Don't run in the oil mice. <laughs> the one ran right through it. Oh no. Okay, let's go return the divining rod to Pa. That'd be scary loud. That's true. Wizard kitten catching mice. Oh hey, it works. Cause my name. Excuse me, semi. Excuse me. Wee. Crash. I certainly prefer a more scary game, but I don't need it. Like, there needs to be an uneasy feeling in a mystery game. Totally. To me, Treasure in the Royal Tower had more jump scares with the ghost, and it saw was consistently creepy. Yeah. 
Like, I, I definitely think that Shadow at the Water's Edge and Ghost of Thornton Hall are easily the scariest games. Well, if it ain't my favorite customer. You'll be happy to know I found your missing divining rod. Well, put the cat out of the rain. Where was it? Out in the spring house. If you can put it back in the display, i will be truly grateful. I've enjoyed talking to you. Y'all hurry back. Okay, divining rod. Kind of looks like a perch for Cuckoo. Pa sells the same chips as the snack shop. I need to get some, like, snacky foods. I don't have any snacky foods in my house right now. Besides, like, bananas. What do you guys like for healthy snacks? Like, I try to generally go for more, like, whole foods type things. Like, I don't know, like, cheese and fruit and things that aren't necessarily packaged but i'm definitely open to more packaged things that are a little bit more like natural i suppose i need more snack options i feel like i never have enough snacks <laughs> uh, oh yeah i was gonna go confront chase her seems to have the pattern of bad game followed by good game Mhm. Mm especially during this period of nancy drew games Maybe there is hope for the next game after mid? Did they confirm a new game? They have confirmed that they're working on a game. Or, I, I hesitate to use the word confirm. They have said that they're working on a new game. But we know absolutely nothing about it. Not Treasure, LOL Thornton. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I totally know what you mean then, Golden Moon. More jump scares, Ghost of Thornton Hall, and Saw was consistently creepy. I gotcha. Thornton Hall is definitely the scariest Nancy Drew game. It takes place at night. The characters are eerie and the setting is so creepy. Charlotte's ghost looks so real. She does. Oh, her ghost is so cool. I think popcorn is a nice, slight, healthy snack. That's true. I need. I should get more popcorn. I like apples, but usually for snacks, I choose not so healthy options like chips. Yeah, because when you want a snack, you're like craving something. Like popcorn made on the stove. Yeah, so that could like get a, like a salt fix. That's true. I do need to ha try popcorn more. Apples are good, too. I only eat apples with peanut butter. Hippies. They're like, they're chickpea puffs, and they're delicious. Oh my gosh, that sounds good. Hey there. Crunchy carrots. Nice. That sounds good. Granola and trail mix. Those sound good, too. Apples and cheese. Nice. These are all really good ideas. Best snack for me are cashews and cranberries or some other dried fruit mixed in. Yes. I need to write all these down. Like, I'm legitimately screenshotting the chat right now. <laughs> so that I have these ideas. <laughs> I basically only snack. How was the chase that I missed? Oh, went pretty good. Didn't see any funnel clouds, but I managed to plant a sensor right in the path of a major downdraft, if you can believe that. Congratulations. I take it that was a big deal? Oh, you bet. Been trying at that all season with no luck. Was Scott there to see it? He went in the base vehicle by himself, but he was real happy when he heard about that sensor. Yes, ma'am. You've been spending all your spare time around here trying to find oil, haven't you? What? Oil? Well, I've been doing no such thing. Where'd you get an idea like that? I found the divining rod you took from Pa's museum. The one you left by the old spring house. I should have known I wouldn't get away with it. Lying and conniving and sneaking around, they just don't come natural to me. My mama raised me just too right. I mean, see, I heard rumors there was an oil deposit somewhere underneath this here farm. I also heard the college was getting ready to dump the place, so I signed up with Scott, figuring I could look for oil. And if I found some, try to get my daddy to invest in a little real estate. And to make sure Canute dumps the place, you've been sabotaging the chase team. You think I'm the one making everything go wrong? Oh, you wrong about that. It's on account of Scott. He's the one messing stuff up around here. He's a jinx. And that's the truth. Listen, I'm truly ashamed of my behavior, Nancy. I will apologize to Pa for taking that divine rod first chance I get. And I know it's highly unlikely, but should you and my mama ever cross paths... I'll keep this to myself, but you've got to keep being honest with me. You got a deal. You know, come to think of it, I guess I can't rightly say all the bad stuff that's been going on is just bad luck. 
Like when I checked out the lightning rod on the farmhouse to see why Scott's phone blew up like that? I discovered something kind of strange. Instead of being wired so any lightning that struck the house would be directed at the ground, this here lightning rod connected to the wire inside the house. Someone wanted that phone jack to explode? Or the TV, or the fridge. Someone just wanted to do some damage. But you're sure it was wired that way on purpose? Either that, or this thing was put up by the world's dumbest electrician. That's it for now. Bye now. I think it's adorable that Chase is like, Should you and my mama ever cross paths? <laughs> Please don't rat me out. Air popped popcorn. Nice. I seem to have a thing for crackers and granola bars. I'm trying to stay away from junk food like candy, cookies, and ice cream. I have such a sweet tooth. Oh, me too, Ray Marie. I love sweet things so much. I also really like dates when I need something sweet. And oh, that sounds good. And dates are like really good for you. During the summer, I also tend to eat popsicles instead of ice cream. Makes me feel less guilty. That's understandable. Popsicles are good. Hey, thanks for fixing the phone. You didn't miss much on the chase. Well, I'm sorry you didn't get good weather. Well, that's the breaks. Hey, you know, since you're so good at fixing things, why don't you fix the TV? I think we've abused it enough. It's not getting any picture. I think you guys have got a mouse problem. No, we've got a mice problem, which we're all just trying to ignore because there's really no time to do anything about it. I think maybe the little piles of corn I keep finding are what's causing it. I haven't noticed any little piles of corn. Little piles of dirt, yes, but corn? Anyway, it's more likely the mice are causing the piles. Probably storing up for the winter or something. I'll check back with you in a bit. Have fun! Love this wallpaper. Like, it looks so nice in this farmhouse. Right, Luna? Having a sweet tooth is so hard. Like, I literally want ice cream all the time. <laughs> okay. Gotta fix the TV. They've hinted that Ned is gonna be in it and maybe, like, in Vienna. But again, it was vague. Yeah, exactly. Super vague. Especially after how it was so weird that, like... Ned was acting really strangely. Like, that's just odd. Vienna's an interesting location, one of the less obvious ones. Yeah, Vienna would be cool. Like, I'd be totally down to have a mystery in Vienna. That looks right. My dad's an electrician. I wonder if he set it up wrong. <laughs> My history girl's dad. How could you? How did no one notice the corn? Right? It's everywhere. It's literally everywhere. Let's see. Hmm. It's definitely that one. Oh, wait. Hmm. I also want ice cream all the time. Have you tried Arctic Zero? It's like 160 calories for a whole pint. Oh my gosh. Wait, hint at what? Juan Pena, I think, hints to, like, a next game. I think that's what you what you were asking about. Hmm. Am I doing this wrong? Let's 
see, I feel like that looks right. No, this one is wrong. That's correct. That looks fine. Is this one right? No, yes. Yes. Okay, it's this one then that's wrong. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Sheesh. I'm scared to see poor Ned's model if it falls into the mid issues. Oh, same Demon Slayer. Ugh, sorry, my internet cut out. Yeah. Did her release hints for their game? No, they were just kind of like general vague things that they talked about in Midnight in Salem. They haven't released any information at all about a new game. I remember TV being black and white when I had a box TV, but to fix the TV that only gets three channels, it's crazy, right? Doesn't seem worth it. Does not seem worth it at all. Okay, let's see here. That looks not quite right. That, I think, is right. No, just kidding. That's not quite right either. There we go. That's the one we want. Okay. They had that random girl with Ned in mid. It was super suspicious, but Nancy didn't follow up on it. Was Ned cheating on Nancy? Shame on him. <laughs> right? Nancy never follows up on it. And it's super out of character for Ned. Like, he has never done anything like that before. Which made it seem very silly to me. My boyfriend was studying for his master's in Vienna, so I visited him for a month there this past December, and it was beautiful. Oh my gosh, cool. I hope her does have the next game there, but I also hope they don't mess it up. Yes, exactly. Like, if you can do it without, you know, completely ruining the game, <laughs> please go for it, her interactive. But if you're just going to completely ruin the game, maybe don't. Okay. And then... There we go. Green. I wonder if there was more explanation to the girl on Ned's phone, but either the actor's schedule was busy or there was not enough time. That could be. Yeah, that's that's a good point, Juan Pena. Okay. If her does produce another game, they had better actually do a good job. I think the fans are still willing to give them a chance, but if they screw it up again, then I think her is done. Yep, I think you're probably right about that, Demon Slayer. Hello, Maria. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Let's see. Need a blue sandwich between two greens. Like that. Okay. How about, I think that one? No, that? Yeah. And then, that, and then, Wait. Huh. It's the wrong notes. Well, okay. I straight up don't think we'll get another game. I feel like the reason we got mid was because of the pressure the fans were putting on them, but now we don't have any game tease to ask for. Oh, I'm jam terrible at this puzzle. This is a hard one, Sarah. I definitely think that's a possibility that we aren't actually getting a new game and they're just saying that they're working one on one i i wouldn't be at all surprised
and normally I would be bummed about that but again it's like I'm looking at the quality here and if you're going to make another game and I kind of said this in my review too if you're going to make another game of the quality of Midnight in Salem don't because <laughs> it's not worth it for gosh this is just such a visual spatial puzzle that is making my eyes go crazy okay clearly oh got it good oh. finally That's the footage from Frosty's camera. I'm sure of it. It did record after all. I think it's a lost cause, Nancy. It's permanently broke. Bummer. Frosty! Frosty! You, you. Hey, Nancy, whoa. Never seen that look on your face before. You liar. You've been secretly selling tornado footage to someone, haven't you? Uh, what? I have no idea what you're talking about. You've been shooting stuff for the team, but selling it on the sly, using the box under the yellow rose bush by the barn as a drop point. That's how you got all those scratches on your arm. And Debbie not only knows about it, she condones it. I overheard you two talking out in the cornfield. Or should I say, conspiring. You two are trying to get Scott so frustrated that he finally blows and says or does something that will force the college to let him go. Nancy, do you have any idea how crazy you sound? What I don't know for sure is whether you two are also responsible for the other stuff that's happened around here, like the hose in Pete's car and the equipment failure and the mouse infestation. Hmm, guess I'll just have to tell Scott everything and see what he thinks. Okay, look. I don't know why you feel like you need to stick your big fat nose where it doesn't belong, but all I did was sell some pictures and footage to this girl I know who's trying to make a name for herself as a nature photographer. Legally, all the stuff I shoot belongs to the team, but that's totally unfair, and Debbie agrees. She knows how hard it is to get a good start, and she looks the other way. Don't be upset with her, though. She's just trying to help. But when it comes to all that other stuff, I had nothing to do with any of it, and neither did she. I promise you. So there's really no reason to tell Scott any of this, right? I guess not. You're a fine lady. Oh, and that big fat nose thing? Kidding. <laughs> so, uh, how are those cloud pictures coming? Actually, I'm having problems finding Cirrostratus. You know, if you head on out to the Fraser Creek windmill, I'll bet you anything you'll get your picture. Weather conditions for Cirrostratus should be perfect right now. In the meantime, I gotta get back to work. See ya. Frosty. You liar. Her needs to do something amazing in the next Nancy Drew game if they want to make up for the disaster that is mid. Exactly. Like, it would have to be much better. It's so sad to see our beloved Nancy Drew games go away, but I'd rather them respectfully retire than continue to do Nancy a disservice. I 100% agree with that. Whoever's in charge of her's marketing department needs to be fired. Their marketing just was horrible. Everything surrounding mid, the marketing and the um, customer service and the like communication with fans, all of it was awful. I'm curious how the copyright of these games work, whether or not there's a chance of another company picking up the games. Or if her doesn't produce them, then no more games. Yeah, I don't know about that Demon Slayer. What's up? Frosty told me that he's been secretly selling his footage and that you're helping. He said that, did he? Well, that's not exactly something you need to worry about. Maybe it's something you shouldn't be involved in. Nancy, you have no idea what you're talking about. Do yourself a favor and keep your mind on your work. That's it for now. Have fun! I've never had that conversation with Debbie before, but it makes me dislike her even more. It's like, no, maybe you should be a better person. <laughs> Does anyone know the reason why, like, half of the her team was fired? I still don't understand the rationale behind that move. Exactly. Time to turn in, Nancy. No. Hello, Nancy. I heard someone talking about some Brooke person 
Who is she again? Brooke Tavanaugh. She heads the chase team that in all likelihood is going to whoop our collective fanny in the competition. Does she deserve to win? I, I don't know. Look, if it's all the same to you, I'd just as soon talk about something else, okay? I'll let you get back to work. Fine by me. The only reason I think they gave for it, like, and they, they really didn't give a reason for it, but the only thing people have been able to surmise is that they wanted a fresh start. And they wanted people who are already trained in the new game engine, in the new Unity thing. So they let a bunch of, like, good people who had made good games go, which is so dumb. Good morning, Debbie. Nancy, perfect timing. We've got a couple target storms ready to go critical. We need to get out in the field now. You'll drive. Scott and I are going to be tracking the storm. Okay? Ready? Yes, let's go. <laughs> yes, let's go. <laughs> so excited, Nancy. I'm sure the fans let her know that they failed with mid. That, yeah, exactly. We've got two, maybe three possible targets out there. All right, good. That's what I like to hear. Wee. Tell me what we're looking at. Got word that the northmost cell is already. I'm gonna learn Unity and make a mystery game. myself. A little late on that one. All right, that's not the system I'm excited about anyway. Didn't think so. We go west. It's a longer drive. Excuse me. Perfect. Sorry, well, this truck's kind of hard to drive. Saying they already got six confirmed touchdowns and two good reads on supercells that didn't spawn funnels. Please, she's a number. Six people confirming one storm. Frosty, have you seen your nose? We really could use a nice data set on a non tornadic supercell. Maybe she'll share what she's I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> now that's an idea. Why didn't we shall band together and create our own ND game? Well, yes. It'd be really cool if you'd share your It's your lucky day, Nancy. Since I don't feel like wrestling with the prehistoric Doppler unit, you're going to do it the for The Voldemort me. we deserve. Oh, this thing. Since Kanyu could care less about providing working equipment, we're stuck with this garbage. You're going to have to take care of warming it up since it's about twice your age. You're going to have to flip three switches, one in each group, to get it started. All the lights need to be set to blue before it starts working properly. Remember, the lights won't turn until you activate them. I've never fully understood this puzzle. I'm supposed to flip three switches. Do I do, like one at a time so like one two three one two three one two like that how is that not correct <laughs> I need to flip three switches to make them all blue, but one in each. Like, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. I demand we all start the Wizard Kitten Gaming Company. Of course, Caitlin is our CEO. Yes! Let's do it. Open the side panel. You need to flip. He said flip three switches until all the lights are blue. Do I need to put this, push this each time? Oh, okay. Oh, I see. I can flip him up to yellow. I get it now. There, I fixed it. <laughs> uh, the turning of these vehicles again. could use Shoot. some improvement. We gotta get this back up and running quickly. I agree. Get mixed up. It will be days before I can get them resorted. Scott keeps talking. I'm trying to keep talk. Those cables in order. 
don't forget, the top cable goes in the first plug, and the bottom goes in the last plug. Nobody wants to listen to you talk, Scott. <laughs> uh, I love it. Isn't there people you hire out to different pieces of the game? Yeah, her did outsource a lot of it. I would not be surprised if her interactive would not make another Nancy Drew game since Lonnie Manel's departure in 2012. The main Can actress. You hurry is up a, a little. Oh, fine, Scott. Give me a second. Here. <laughs> I'll do this for you and then. Okay, will you let me talk to my chat? So rude. All the time. How are things coming on that Doppler? I'm getting there. Of course, Ray Marie. Queen Mel the mascot. Can you hurry it up a little? What if I said no? Nice job, Nancy. Looks like we're ready to roll. Actually, it looks like we're out a bit early here. Nothing's developing like it should be. Let's get back to base and track from there. I don't want to follow a bum lead on a system with this much potential. Oh, <laughs> well, that was lame. You didn't even get to see a tornado. Thanks, Detective Drew. That's really nice of you. I heard they outsourced the writing. Probably. The writing was really Nancy, bad. have you seen Scott? Not since we got back. There's a huge front coming in, and he's nowhere to be seen. This is not like Scott. If you see him around, will you let me know? Chase and Frosty and I are supposed to be leaving for the Grange soon, and I really need to know that someone is keeping an eye on these fronts. I will find him for you, Debbie. we look at these that helps us figure out where he is oh also um there's something sticking out of his desk brooke's been paying scott off scott you fulfilled your end of the bargain my team is bound to win now let's meet at the agreed upon location this afternoon before the storm hits i'll bring your payment don't forget the final round are the final terms are you disappear until my team has officially been named the winner brooke Yep, and that's the same handwriting that we saw in the last two things. Okay, so we've looked at the dates, and they are... Gotta check the handy-dandy notebook. Greetings, Amanda! Welcome to the stream! Finally made it. Today was pretty hectic. We had to make four days' worth of food, plus not everyone showed up. Oh my gosh! But we're done for the school year! Summer is here! Congrats on making it to summer break, Amanda. That's fantastic. We are very close to the end of the mystery, Ray Marie. Okay. Okay. Take that. Head down here. Love how Scott wrote down the location just for us. Thanks, Scott, right? Culprit foils their own plot. <laughs> These symbols match Scott's. This must be some sort of code. What could so it mean? Does this one. Hmm. These are all of the windmill. That must be where Scott's been meeting Brooke. Well, let's go find him. Scott's earpiece on the desk, yeah. Wait, where's the windmill again? I haven't gone there in a little bit. Okay, south of here to the right. Whoops. Oh no! <laughs> that was a big crash. <laughs> Hi cows. What's up? Down here? 
Woo! Okay, are we are we close? Nope. We gotta go up this way. Oh my gosh, here we go. Room. Room. Nancy, what are you doing here? You mean me, as opposed to Brooke? <coughs> Brooke? What are you talking about? When I was fixing the phone jack, I accidentally overheard the phone conversation you two had. I could hear it through the headset on your desk. And just what do you think you overheard? Enough to know you two are working together. You've been sabotaging your own team, haven't you? You've been doing everything you can to make sure Brooke's team wins and yours loses. That's ridiculous. That's why you're meeting her way out here, so the people who've been looking up to you all this time couldn't see her paying you off. I have never gotten the credit I deserve for the work I've done, ever! I know more about tornadoes than any person alive, and I get neither the respect nor the compensation people half as brilliant as me get without lifting a finger! Why? Because I work for a podunk college run by podunk incompetence bent on badmouthing and spiting me at every turn just because I don't play well with others at their idiotic staff meetings. Why don't you just quit? Because thanks to them, I'm considered impossible to work with. No other school will hire me. I'm stuck here and they know it. So yes, I've been sabotaging my own team. And yes, Brooke is paying me a small fortune to do so because I've had it. I'm through. Tornado's forming. I can feel it. It'll be on the ground in minutes, and it's going to be huge. And here you are, a novice out in the field and all alone. Ah! Nancy, please pick up. Over. <laughs> he just shoves her. Nancy, this is Debbie. Over. I'm here. I think Scott knocked me out. He did what? When I confronted him about selling the team out to Brooke, he went berserk. I can't believe he would do that, and with Brooke Tavanaugh of all people. Well, we'll deal with that later. Right now, I need you down here at the Grange ASAP. We need to evacuate the theater, and you've got my Grange keys with you in Frosty's car. I'm on my way. Over and out. Maybe Scott needs to stop blaming other people for his problems, because he obviously is difficult to work with. And it sounds like that's not other people's problem. That sounds like a you problem, Scott. And also, he literally just, like, shoves Nancy and she falls down. And she's like, Scott knocked me out. <laughs> Nancy, you, like, fell down. He didn't, like, punch you or anything. He, like, pushed you. <laughs> Craziness. Yeah, and I totally agree, Casey. This Brooke gal plays a major role in the mystery, but we don't even meet her. It's been chaos here. I was able to cobble together a pretty basic tracking system back at the homestead, and instantly I knew we were in trouble. The storm was showing a high potential of moving into town, but without the proper readings, we couldn't issue an alert. I knew we'd have to evacuate the Grange in person. But when we got here, we saw that it's locked. The shelter is locked on a performance night. I need you to take care of this while the rest of us work on a backup plan, okay? I'm trusting you here. I know you can do this. There are a lot of people depending on you right now. Thanks for the really long story, Debbie. Like, really long explanation while I just get to stand here. What is this now? Who would double lock a store? Yes, you did it! Nice job, Stop Nancy. Stop talking, Debbie. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> Scott's love handles, though. <laughs> Why is Scott's shirt so lumpy? Nancy's so bold confronting people like this. Well, I think the worst has passed. Nancy, where are you going? Get in the shelter! I can't just let Scott get away. Okay, Nancy, first thing, switch on your GPS. That little dot you see, follow that and it will lead you right to Scott. We put a tracker on his truck. It's a safety thing. But Nancy, be careful out there. Keep this radio on and I'll do my best to keep you safe. Nancy... I'm really sorry about everything that happened back there. Scott, he... he wasn't always like this. I knew... I mean, I was worried about him earlier. His heart clearly wasn't in it anymore. He was putting us in danger. I just wanted to do what's best. That's not what it sounded like when I overheard you talking to Frosty. You two wanted to get rid of Scott. And from where I was standing, you sure didn't sound very concerned about safety. Nancy, I know it probably sounded bad, but there's a lot you don't know. 
the intern you took over for? His injury wasn't just an accident. He got hurt because Scott sent him out where he never should have been. After that, I knew I had to take over. That's still no... Looking back, I do things differently. But I did what I did for the right reasons. I wanted to push Scott until the world saw how reckless he was being. It was a mistake. I screwed up and I accept responsibility. No matter what happens out there, promise me that you'll be careful. I promise. Okay, shut up, Debbie. You're no better. Exactly. And I hate how we have to sit there and, like, listen to her explain things for, like, a solid two minutes. Instead of, like, actually, like, going to find Scott. Like, it's so annoying. Oh, I found him. <laughs> Also, this is a horrible way to get away, Scott. He's just driving around. Like, I, I'm going to be able to find you. Look, I found you. <laughs> this is a pretty small neighborhood. You, you can't hide for long. And I also have a much better turn radius than you do. Wee. <laughs> Why won't he crash? Oh, there we go. Crash. Is that snow or hail? I think it's supposed to be hail, but it's falling really slowly. Scott Karate Scott. chops the air. I better find us some shelter. I wonder if there's a way to get into the spring house. This is not the time to be monologuing, Debbie. Exactly. Made it. Dear Ned. Once the theater was successfully evacuated, Debbie and Chase were able to follow the GPS tracking signal to the spring house, where Scott and I had safely weathered the storm. Although he was pretty seriously shaken up in the crash, Scott came to in time to see Frosty arrive with the police. He received community service for destruction of public property and interfering with public safety records. He didn't fare so well with a the college. They fired him quicker than lightning hitting a bee stung greyhound, as they say around here. So it looks like he'll actually be serving the community now, instead of just pretending to. Even if it's just by picking up garbage by the side of the road. Word spread quickly about Scott's misdeeds, and soon Brooke Tavanaugh, the rival chase team leader, found herself out of a job as well. With the storm season almost over, it looked like both teams were out of the competition. Debbie, always the organizer, decided to combine the remaining members on both teams for the remainder of the season. Without Scott's ever-present storm cloud hanging over the team and his constant sabotaging, the team really began to hit its stride with Debbie in charge. Two days after I told Krollmeister I had found the source of the sabotage and the change in team leaders, Debbie's chase team was greeted by a surprise delivery, the next generation of Krollmeister's storm tracking and detection equipment. With Scott out of the picture, Frosty renegotiated his contract. Now that he's able to pursue his own projects on the side, he's just about doubled his output. He's launched his own business, and when he's not getting pelted by softball-sized hail, you'll find him in his studio. Chase has given up on his dreams of finding oil. Even if he hadn't, he wouldn't have the time to look. Debbie's keeping him too busy. Free from having to spend his days fixing Scott's mistakes, Chase has finally had the opportunity to show off his keen sense for weather. Now that Debbie has accepted Scott's old position as head of the Canute Storm Team, he's become her right-hand man. Last I heard, he was going to assist Debbie in her classes in the fall. And when I got home, I found a surprise delivery myself as well. The first shipment of my lifetime supply of Coco Kringle Bars. Krollmeister also sent me a note, telling me to keep my bags packed. He has a special surprise trip planned for me as a way to say thanks. 
As long as it's some place where the clouds stay in the sky like they belong, I'll be happy to go. While the winners of the Green Skies event won't be determined until fall, things are looking pretty good for Debbie's team. With the new equipment, they've logged the most storm data. And although Debbie won't be showing anyone until she's 100% sure, the team may have made a verified touchdown prediction. Yesterday, a postcard from Pa arrived. After the town repaired the storm damage to the Grange, they restaged the town play. They even added a new part about the storm, including a scene where a certain someone unlocks the storm shelter. As long as it wasn't played by Pa in a wig, I'm happy. Pa says that he remembered most of his lines this time, at least the important ones. As for me, well, I've had just about enough stormy weather for one season. Love, Nancy. Frosty's real first name is Tobias. Okay, okay, four awards, not bad. Debbie, always the organizer, finally cleaned out Scott's messy office. <laughs> what is a keen sense for weather? That is a good question. He feels it in his bones. After risking my life chasing down deadly twisters, I think it's time for a change of pace. I've decided to join Bess and George on their trip to Kyoto, Japan. I've always wanted to visit Japan. From the exotic food and wild fashion in the cities to the nature and tradition in the smaller towns, I know there's going to be a ton to see and do. As a thank you for all of my hard detective work, P.G. Krollmeister has reserved a room for me at one of the area's best ryokans, or traditional inns. It'll be nice to finally take a break from solving mysteries and to spend a few weeks without danger and dark secrets hiding around every corner. I've already heard that the ryokan I'm staying in has quite a reputation. I'm not sure exactly for what, though. Well, I'll find that out soon enough. Join me in my next adventure, Shadow at the Water's Edge. Ooh. Scary game. All right, we'll wait until the bloopers at the end of the credits. We'll never not be sassy about her not showing Pa's performance, <laughs> right? He would be better than David Dwayne. <laughs> got his hands down one of the scariest culprits so out of control he yeah for sure woohoo can't wait till sunday would you stay in a ryokan i totally would i would not stay in the ryokan in this game because it's super duper haunted but yes i would st i would absolutely if i visited japan stay in a ryokan it sounds so cool i am uh, curious if we'll be able to get through Shadow at the Water's Edge in four hours. I try to keep the streams under four hours so that when people go back to watch them, they can watch the entirety of the stream. If the stream ends up being longer than four hours, then it, YouTube starts to chop off parts of the beginning of the recording. So I'm curious. We'll have to see how, how long Shadow at the Water's Edge takes us. Maybe if I don't solve any of the puzzles in real time, and I just have the um, the solutions available, that would be good. But we'll see. Because it's definitely the last puzzle that makes it super long. And having to wait for the photos sometimes, because if you do things too fast, then the photos get sent to you from Yumi slower than normal. But we'll have to see. We could do that, Sarah, yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, and then start another stream. Yeah, and if I don't solve Sudokus in real time, that's true. That's actually a good point. <laughs> it's the dinosaur from Difference Detective in Haunting of Castle Malloy. Here you go, little guys. Good luck in your new home. How many of you are there? <laughs> okay, this is getting ridiculous. The random laughs. This is laughs. Elsie's first time as a driver on the Oklahoma circuit, but already she's showing herself to be a talented driver and fierce competitor on the track. 
That's definitely it's how I drive. It's to see a young cow driver with this much confidence, especially on such a difficult terrain. Excellent handling around the turns. Uh-oh, this could be trouble. And she handles it like a pro. Excellent performance today. Only one question remains. How did she get a car in the first place? <laughs> oh no. Yes, sir. Oh no. <laughs> Work it, Pa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> He worked it too hard. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, the Queen Mel pick. Thank you for the reminder, Amory. I shall pull up a Queen Mel pick. Hi, I'm Nancy. Oh my gosh, Drew. funny. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to um turn off game capture so your guys' screen will be black for just a second while I pull up a picture. Okay. Let's see here. Imagine Pa in a cat suit. <laughs> Punchy LaRue. Love it. Okay, photos. Your photos. Okay, here we go. I know there's been some interest in seeing a Mel kitten photo. One of the only pictures I have of her as a kitten is one with both myself and Mr. Wizard Kitten, but I don't think he'll mind if I just show it really quickly. Um, I gotta scroll because it's been a while. I wonder if it's under profile pictures. You don't feel good, Maria? I'm sorry. That's not good. Oh my gosh, that's a funny one too. But that also has Mr. Wizard Kitten. I have to find the one, like the one of her on her, the day that we actually got her. I have others I can show too, but, oh, here we go. Here, and this doesn't have Mr. Wizard Kitten in it. Mr. Wizard Kitten is in the photo, but this one is cropped, um, because my mom was just sharing a picture of me specifically this is when I was oh my gosh how old was I I guess I was 20 or 21 at the time but this is what Mel looked like when she was a kitten she was so teeny teeny tiny Oh, I forgot how little she was. It should hopefully be up now. You mean back when Queen Mel was Princess Mel? Exactly. Need all of you to send you good vibes. You put in an application to adopt some cats. Oh my goodness. Sending you all the good vibes, Sarah. Oh, okay, I see it now. Aw, oh, Mel, is a kitten? Mini Mel. She's so cute. She was so tiny. <laughs> this is when she was berserk and literally would, like, tear around the apartment and crawl up my legs and dig her teeny little claws into every little part of my body. <laughs> and I very quickly learned that the name Mello was not fitting for her. So small, exactly. <laughs> So cute and fluffy. 
That's my baby. That's my little fur baby. Small one. I hope you can get a cat too, Sarah. Wishing you all of the best on your application. I'm sure it will go well. All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me for the stream today. I'm glad we were able to have fun with this game together. And I will see all of you again on Sunday for our stream of Shadow at the Water's Edge. Very scary mystery. That one will be a lot of fun to stream and scream. <laughs> scream and stream. <laughs> we look so sweet together. Thank you. My cat. <laughs> it's my cat, Jessica. That's Mel when she was a baby. That's Mel the day that we got her. She is very proud of herself, Ray Marie. <laughs> yes, we'll see you all on Sunday for Shadow at the Water's Edge. I hope you have a great weekend and a fantastic rest of your Friday. Thank you all so much for joining. Please feel free to like the stream if you enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't yet. That's the easiest way to know when I stream. And feel free to follow on the channel's Instagram, WizardKittenYT for updates on streams and some extra content. That is in the pumpkin patch, Sarah, yes. <laughs> the pumpkin patch is in the background there. All right, thank you everyone. You're all amazing. Thank you all for being such fantastic fellow detectives. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you for joining, Casey. Thank you, Amanda. Bye, everyone.